Coronation Street, it must be. Thought it'd be a dump. Right, everybody out. Very funny, let us out. Dad! Mum, tell him we're hey, Should we do it or not? I'll have to knock these looks off. We? What? I'm supposed to carry me mum over the threshold. When you get married, Div. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm supposed to pretend she's still 21 and a size 8 and all, am I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in, neighbours are looking. Hiya! Hey, uh, getting settled. Foul. Oh, foul. All right with the throne, I suppose. Ooh, check out Carol Smiley. Tell you what, it's a decent back garden, no? Is there? Great. We'll have a bar before it's tea, eh? I saw that. She doesn't make it very easy, does she? Teenage girl. It's in the job description. Look, what do you think? Can we live here? Do we have a choice? Come on, it's a step up for us, this place, isn't it? Imagine your Pauline's face. Guard in front and back. <laughs> no speed bumps. No smackheads. Oh, we up. Very dis You can't. Too late. And you can see it. So Craig! Oh, Dad! We tell him. He's trying to bag to the big room before I've even had a look at it. <sighs> home, sweet home. It's only a place to keep. It's bad enough making me come here without sticking me in the room the size of a phone box. It's a bit of an exaggeration. Good job I've not put in it. You agreed to toss up for it, best out of three. You've got to stick by the result. Anyway, you've always had the biggest room. So, I'm used to spreading out a bit. I'll tell you what we'll do. Once we're settled, I'll convert the loft. How about that? What's funny? You? Yeah. Get a decent wood floor down, plenty of spotlights. Paint it white, be like living in New York. Till we move again. Listen, Katie, you've got to stop thinking like that. This is our home night. It's permanent. We've all got to pull together. So you convert the loft? Yeah. Who's going to help you? You'd have to do it legit. No, I thought not. Ange, do you want to get that? No, uh, you go. Somebody with flowers. I've got a delivery for next door, but there's no one. Would you mind signing for uh, Mrs. Roberts? I don't know, love. We've only just moved in. Lucy! Hi, Archie. What are you doing here? Not cruising for business, I hope. Hey, uh, Jake. No, that there's my local. Well, one of them. <laughs> What's your excuse? Well, I got these for a Mrs. Roberts, but there's no one home. Oh, Audrey, over oh, there. They'll all be down in the hospital. Give me it. I'll call in myself later on. Oh, dear. Knocks the shine off my poor right offerings. In. Yeah, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hi. Uh, we're from next door. Just thought I'd bring a cup of sugar. It's what they say, isn't it? You know, when you get new neighbours, take them a cup of sugar. <laughs> oh, right, well, thanks. Uh, we live at number four. My name's Maxine Peacock. This is baby Joshua. And uh, this has been Mum, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Hiya, Mum. So, uh, don't you have a name? Doreen. Doreen Avey. I'm Tommy Nelson. This is my wife, Angela. This is Katie and Craig. Hello. Uh, if you just excuse me, I'm just sorting a tap washer out upstairs. Hello, Josh. Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have old? Oh, he's mad about babies. He's all right. Is he? Well, all right. Hold him carefully, then. He's quite heavy. Are you sure? That's it. So have you, uh, settled in all right? Early days. Lovely houses, though, aren't they? I think our Maxine's done so well for herself. Mind, it helps if you're marrying to money. Mom. <laughs> oh, so, uh, are you from round here, then? Sheffield. Hunter's Bar. Oh, so what brings you here? Work. Tommy's a mechanic. Oh, my husband's in the meat trade, yeah. He's uh, won trophies for his sausages. <laughs> oh, Heavy, that's an unusual name. It ought to, my ex-husband's name. I should do something about that. Yeah, Mrs Doreen Heavy. I knew it was here somewhere. It's addressed to number six. Oh, is there anything there for me? <laughs> it's from the solicitors. It says... 
Derek's named Mike as co-respondent in the divorce. What's that mean? And will be contesting my right to full maintenance. Ah, oh, the twisty-faced little two-rag. Oh, he don't let the grass grow under his feet, not if he can save a few shekels. Angela, is this house in joint names? No, actually... Get your name on the deeds. Get your name on everything. Or it'll be gone in the time it takes to drop his trousers. Well, I'd rather you didn't talk. Mum, I think like we can that. sort this out next door now. <laughs> Thanks. Come on, little Joshua. Right, well, good luck at all that. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye. See you. Yeah. Oh, have I missed them? Flaming typical. <laughs> what? The only the time it takes to drop his trousers. <laughs> He's won trophies for his sausages. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Um, I just wondering whether or not I could take the cup back. Only it was a wedding present, see. You know what girls are like. They need space, fitted wardrobes, all that stuff. There's no wardrobes in there. Yeah, I know, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, you're going to be out a lot, aren't you? Playing footy and cricket. And now we've got a back garden. You're going to be out even more. How much? Ten. Twenty. Fifteen. Up front. Done. Come on, let's get these tips into that. Well, you can't say we're not well catered for. There's a news agent sent off here at one end of the street and a chip up the other. And a pub in the middle, 36 steps exactly. <laughs> Counted then, did you? It's a bit less if you're thirsty. Did you go in? What, while well, I've got in with me? Don't be daft. Anyway, our Craig's had an idea. You can have the big room if you want. What do you mean it? Oh, a nice one, Spud. Oh, some things never change, do they? What's that? Daddy's little princess gets her own way again. It's Craig's idea. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Come on, you don't be late on your first day. You sure you know the way? Do you want me to go with you? Oh, come on, Mum, we're not kids. All right, all right, just make sure you get there. Come on, let's be having you. Oh, I don't want to go to this school. I don't know anybody. I'll have no friends. Ah, you'll soon make new friends. I don't want new friends. I want my old friends. Well, there's no use wanting, cos you can't have them. Oh, yeah, no spots that. Hey, we'll have less of that. Don't take it out on your Leave mum. Leave it, Tommy. I know you miss your pals, love. I understand that. We all do. It's the way it's got to be. Well, can I at least write to Kelly, then? I mean, she's my best mate, so why can't I just write her a letter? Katie, don't talk stupid. Now, come on. Let's have you off to school. And keep your wits about you. I'm striker, me. What do you play? Midfield. No, that's OK. Hi, Mum. Where's your sister? She's behind somewhere. This is David, lives next door. Hey, David. David, don't you tell your mum, OK? What's going on? What are all that about? Come on. So, she's halfway up the street in a right state. Poor woman. Mommy, well, not a more like. She's a fire to her house. All right. And she's next door. And David's sister nicked a car. Well, run off the road and she ended up on a life support machine with brain damage. I said. Words like frying pan, out of, and fire spring to mind. <laughs> well, don't be daft. We'll be fine here. <laughs> Give it a chance. And you, you know, when you get these stories from David, I hope you're not giving any back about us. No way. What do you think I am, Matt? <laughs> I've been trying to tell you that for years. Shut Hey. Come on, Sam. Do you want that, lads? Oh, cheers, mate. Oh. Right, I should have freed it up, that. Turn it over. Uh, must be the start of motor, mate. Tell you what, leave it with us. Pick it up about five, is you all right? It might not be. Hey. Well, I know these. They're dead awkward. It could be a starter motor, but it might be electrical. And if it is, you've got about a mile and a half of cable to check out. Well, that's an all-day job. Are you in the trade? Yeah. Huh? Where'd you work? Nowhere at the minute. I've just moved in. Uh, I thought I'd seen you knocking around. Kevin Webster. My garage. Tommy Nelson. This is tied on. All right. Hey, listen, I've got a job if you're interested. It's advertised in the job centre. Go and check it out. Job centre? Yeah. There's no need for that, is there? How about if I do a trial? If it don't work out, you can go back to him. Uh, I'd rather not mess him around. Look, I've got interviews tomorrow. Tell him you want your name added to the list. All right. Cheers. A job offer? Yeah, well, sort of. Gary's just along the road. Oh, Tommy, it'd be brilliant. Yeah, but hold on. The bloke here wants me to go down to the job centre. So? 
What do you mean, so? It's bureaucracy, forms, questions, who are you, where are you from, people being nosy. Look, you want to settle down here and you need a job, and the closer to us, the better. It's perfect. So get yourself down the job centre. Now? Yavul. Just get me away, Archer. Get down there. Yeah, they're gonna phone you. Good. Looks like you was right. Electrics. See you tomorrow then. All right. You better watch out. What? Mad Grand's on the loose again. Last seen escaping in a getaway car. Listen, you lesser the lip. We're supposed to be trying to fit in round here. Well, do you think I should wear a tie? Oh, only if you're gonna make a fan belt out of it. Oh, very funny. <laughs> It'll be all right. I hope so. Be dead handy if I got this job. Could be all me seconds if it ever happened. You'll get it, no problem. We'll see. See you later. Give your last place a ring, check out your reference. OK. Tell you, my business partner used to live in the house of yours. Don't know, we got it off an agency. Yeah, said she didn't know you. Oh, yeah, can I speak to uh, John Derbyshire? Yeah, it's uh, about a job reference. Yeah, Tommy Nelson. You're around a bit, aren't you? Yeah. How come you ended up in Manchester? It's as good as anywhere else. <laughs> good job you're a mechanic. Never have got a job on a tourist board. I only want to know if you know him and not if I can trust him. Oh. All right. Cheers, mate. Just what I need. Is there a problem? Oh, I've got a right to him, haven't I? Like I've not got enough paperwork to do. I write to them, they write to me. Take a week at least. It'll be just some jobs within the office. You know what they like. You're the best qualified out the lads I've seen. Tell you what, there's a car there what needs tuning. You get it running like a dream by dinner time, you can start tomorrow. I'll let the paper chasers catch up with us later. You're on. Cheers. Oh, uh, it's running like a dream now. I'm going to judge you that. Do you want me to come here? No, it'll only be ten minutes. You put the kettle on. Milk and two sugars for me. Huh? <laughs> Sounded all right, that did. Milk and two chilies, did you say? Yeah, cheers. He's been gone all morning. Call him. You know I ain't got a mobile. <laughs> From the step, I meant. He'll hear you. He's all around the corner. We can't still be there. He said he'd only be half an hour. Maybe he's got the job. <laughs> you don't start work the minute you've finished an interview. He should be home by now. Is it all right? Job's yours, mate. Make it official when your reference is come through. Oh, brilliant. Cheers. Thanks a lot, man. Tell you what, take you for the pint. Do a bit of team building. Uh, I'd better not. Get it while you can. Oh, come on. Give us a chance to get to know each other. Uh, no, I should be getting home. Yeah, you should. I'm starting to worry about you. All right, love. Uh, it's me daughter, Katie. This is Kevin and Tyrone. Hiya. All right. Right then, come on. Oh, uh, what time do you want me in tomorrow morning? Half eight. Right then. See ya. Ta-da. Oh, ta love. They wanted me to go to the pub for me dinner. The boss wanted to buy me a pint. It'd be great having you working so close. Just hope that reference doesn't take too long. I'm more worried about the coppers turning up next door. Neighbours seem the type to attract attention to themselves. So that's all we need, isn't it? It's probably something to do with that mad granny. <laughs> seem respectable enough. Oh. First outing they've had in a while. Ah, I feel strange. Are you nervous? A bit. I'm nervous for you. Oh, it's only a small garage. It's not about that, though, is it? Anyway, here's your snap. The why you can't come home for it, I don't know. It's only three doors down. My first day. Let's see how they do things. You can bet they all take sandwiches. So what are you going to do today? Don't know. I'll make myself useful somehow. You'll be all right. First day on your own. Why don't you go don't out and about? Don't worry about me. Right, well. Oh, good luck. Tommy. We have turned a corner, haven't we? Let's hope so.
Oh, so where do you want me to start? Start on this one if you want. Got a smoky exhaust, noisy engine. Oh, I think I might know what that is. Oh, go on. What is it, Clarkson? Well, it's either the piston or the valve seal, innit? Oh, reckon you can still do it. What kind of noise is it? Like a rattle. Funny things, noises. Should I do the thermostat on that then, boss? Yeah, you can do, mate. Cheers. So, how long you had this place there? Uh, about six years. Bought off Mike Baldwin from the factory there. I wouldn't mind a place of my own like this. Big decent mechanic. You've been around a while. What's stop you? Well, you know, this and that. Is it a new windscreen? What? Is it a new windscreen? Oh, yeah, and before you ask, it's not that I've checked. Start up, Tyro. Hear that? Only just. See that? That's your vibration. You haven't put your mirror back properly. Yeah, well, I, I was going to check that next. Ah, thanks a lot, mate. Tell me, isn't it? Yeah. What's the damage? Ah, I'll just buy us all the pint next time you're in the Rovers. Right, you're on. Hey, I was right about that piston, though, wasn't I? Yeah, spot on. Told ya. Was it? Well, it was the piston causing the smoke. The rattle was the camshaft. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but break it to him gently. <laughs> well, we got the Rovers to the pint on Friday. Yeah? Not it. I ought to get back, really. Oh, come on, you can have one, can't you? Well, Come on, a few bevies, game of arrows. It's all right, laugh. Yeah, you turned us down last time. Start to think you don't like us if you carry on. I better come in that case, huh? Seven sixty, Harry. Cheers, Harry. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. My pleasure. And one good turn deserves another. Any time you lads want any plumbing work doing, you know where to come. Tommy. What? Lavatory traps. Problems with your soil pipe. I'm your man. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Boys. All right, Martin. Mm. Tommy Nelson, my new mechanic, Martin Platt. All right, mate. All right. You moved into number six. Yeah, that's it. He's my neighbour, aren't you, Tommy? Mm, he's a dab hand with cars, Doreen. Oh, good. I like a practical man. Where have you moved from? Wrong side at Pennines. Oh. Mm. Never mind, you're here now. <laughs> what part of Yorkshire are you from? Sheffield. And what brings you here? Let me, Doreen. Twenty questions. Let the guy enjoy his pint. <laughs> but if I need a strong man to do some jobs about the house... You'll have to book an appointment with the wife. Oh. So, uh, you met the neighbours from the other side, yet? Yeah? Oh, they're a rum lot, aren't they? <laughs> One of them ran off in a right state last week. Hey, you want to be careful. That's my ex-mother-in-law you're talking about. <laughs> I walked into that one, didn't I? Hey, just remember. You don't have to be a problem family to live in this street, but it helps. <laughs> oh, Tommy's family's not like that. They all look very nice. Yeah, especially Kater. Oh, she's got a secret admirer. Tommy, get ready for the phone, phone calls. calls. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just remembered, I said I'd do something at Franz before tea time. Cook has been playing up. I knew there was something when you asked me for a pint earlier. Sorry about this. No problem, mate. Uh, same time, wouldn't you? Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, bye. All right, bye. Was it something we said? Yeah. He's hardly touched his pint. Maybe he's got a problem with the booze. Something not quite right, whatever it is. So, how was it? It was OK. It's just good to get my hands dirty again. So, how have you been? Oh, all right. A bit strange being on my own, but... So, what the blokes like to work with? Well, they seem all right. So, you think it'll work out? I don't see why it shouldn't. We, uh, we went for a drink. To the pub? After work. I couldn't get out of it. Well, how was it? Well, weird. A couple of neighbours started quizzing me. What about? Where we come from, why we're here. Usual stuff. And what did you say? As little as I could. But every time somebody came through the door, it felt like... It didn't stay long. We're going to have to get over that. Well, we made a start. One day at a time, eh? Do you fancy going out for an hour before dinner? <sighs> Sunday dinner? Just like old times. Nah. I can't, anyway, I'm trying to cook. I've done Sunday dinner before, you know. Sunday is when you two are at the pub and me and Craig go to our mates. Oh, not anymore, lady. Look, chop this carrot for me, will you? Uh, what about Dad? I've had hard a week's work. You only did a day? Yeah, well, I'm easing myself back in gradual like, aren't I? That's a northern, is it? OK, OK. When's it ready? Now that Katie's helping, it won't take any time. Good, I'm starving. And I'm eating David. Who says you are? You ask first. Can I meet David later? If you stay local. David's all right. It's not the same as having loads of proper mates. 
like at home. Look, how about, just for once, eh, we pretend like we're having a normal family dinner? Go on, then. Stop all this moaning. It's all I ever hear and I don't like it. That's because it makes you feel guilty. Cos you know it's your fault we're here. Look, all I'm asking is that you try a bit. If we don't make an effort, living here is going to be unflaming bearable. I'm trying. I know you are, Craig. So it's just me, then? Just try and be a little bit nicer to your mother, eh? OK. All right, Tommy. Oh. Big jumpy, aren't you? Oh, I'm like a grey on me, only fatter and slower. <laughs> I'm not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> is your Sophie a cheeky little so-and-so and all? Actually, I'm Rosie. Oh. Hi, Craig. <laughs> yeah, hi. See you. Uh, Sophie's the young one. She's at mates. Hey, hey Kayla, mate. This is Tommy, our new neighbour, and my new mechanic. Oh, nice to meet well, you. Uh, back there on the phone is that man. This is baby Ben. Oh, hiya. Uh, you moved in at number six? Yeah. You settling in? Yeah, we're getting there. Who was that? Oh, Mick. Uh, some of the lads are in Rovers. The lads? Sounds like a football team. No, it's work. I'm a copper. Copper? Road tax in the post, honest. <laughs> oh, you're all right. I'm off duty. Glad to hear it. See you later, Kevin. Yeah, see you, Tom. Your job scared him off pretty quick. Oh, people always say stuff like that. Yeah, I thought he was joking. Yeah. Hey, man. Come down the road. Hello. Yeah, go on, man. Yeah, give us that. Uh, just for an hour, mind. Right. I'm telling Mum an hour, Craig. Is your mum a paranoid parent too, then? Yeah. <laughs> just don't like me talking to strange men. <laughs> Watch us. Oh, wicked. <laughs> Oh, will it? <laughs> Relax, Craig, man. Your mum's as bad as mine. Good new place. Where we were before, I could start as late as I wanted. Why'd they bring you to this dump? My dad got a job in LA, but it fell through. First place they found. Hi, Craig. Hiya. I gotta go. Waiters. Here. Got a new boyfriend. Get a life. He's been excluded from six schools, did you know? What are you talking about? That's why right, family moved. Keeps getting chucked out. And who told you that? Has Bentley sits with him in maths. You are so challenged, Rosie Webster. Well, that's what I told her. Have you seen me fun? Yeah, it's on the table. Oh, you could say goodbye. Bye. Come straight home, OK? See you, love. See you. See you later, too. So what's in me snap here? Chicken. Yeah? Oh, stuffing and all, isn't it? What are you doing out today? No, I'm going to sit on my bum all day and eat biscuits. I'm doing out today. Get off. Just wondered if you're going out, that's all. What, like going out to dinner or going out to the opera? It'll do you good to get out. Well, it'll do you good to do your own cleaning and washing, then maybe I'd be able to get out. It is safe to leave the house. Is it? Are you sure? Are you 100% sure? Do you want me to come home for my dinner? No, I've done your signings now. Go on, go to work. Go on. I do it all the time. Can we go now? I'm getting cold. You were the one that wanted to come round. I wanted to be warm indoors, having tea and biscuits. Hey, I'm only trying to be friendly. Ooh, tip in there. Huh? Spying through the window, that's friendly, is it? She's got her ironing out. Oh, why don't we go round the back and smash a window, then you can have a really good snow. Oh, Mother! Oh, I'm getting cold. Going numb. Oh, all right then, come on, let's go. Anyway, why haven't you got any gloves? I've got some gloves, they're too tight. Chicken and chips for tea? Chicken? I'll be turning into one. Where's Katie? Sulking in the room. So, what happened this morning? Loads. Did the iron in, changed the beds. What about you? You had visitors? No. It was only them from next door. Just looks suspicious. Well, what's suspicious? People call round, you're not in, happens all the time. I'm just worried about you. I'm end. fine. Maybe you should think about getting a job. Yeah, well, when I've got sorted here. We need the cash, you know. I know. 
I'm not working in the pub. Nobody's asking you to. Well, there's loads of other stuff you could do. Call Craig, will you? His tea's nearly ready. Right. Morning. You off to school? How'd you guess? Uniform. Oh, uh, yeah. How do you like it then, your new school? I don't. I don't like hot round here. It's always like that when you move somewhere new. You'll get used to it. Morning, Gaffer. Only try. I don't intend to get used to it. As soon as I can, I'm going. Oi, you're supposed to be on your way to school, not doing your courting. <laughs> courting? We him? <laughs> Do us a favour, would you? And behave yourself. Aren't you a bit old to be chatting up like some of my daughter? I was only talking to her. I'm sure you were. It is Nelson, Mrs. Nelson. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be coming to see you about a job. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was expecting you. I, I know. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's just that something's come up, and I'm going to have to withdraw my application. <sighs> I see. Okay. Well, uh, listen. Thanks for letting us know. Even if it was a bit late in the day. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Excuse me, girls. Uh, you don't know if you've had anybody in this morning applying for a job, do you? Well, I didn't notice anybody, did you? No. Well, it's the kind of thing that we would notice. Yeah, mainly in case it's our jobs they're after taking. <laughs> Who's that? What's to be scared of? It's a factory full of loads of other women. It's just what you need. It might be, but it's just when it came to it, I weren't even up to walking down the street. I know it's pathetic, but I just weren't. So OK. I'll walk with you. I've already rung and told him I didn't want it. Well, let's go down there and tell him you've changed your mind. Listen, and you can't sit in this house for the rest of your life. Come on, let's go. Hey. Yeah, hello. I know you don't want to see me, but I would be really grateful if you would. Um, Angela Nelson. That should have been here earlier. Oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> I would like the job, really. Well, it's just someone came up. <laughs> yeah, and I'd like someone a bit more reliable. I don't go changing a mind every two minutes, love. But it won't happen again. Oh, <laughs> you're right there. I, I did ring you. I didn't just leave you not knowing. Look, love, you had your chance. You blew it. Sorry. Well, give me another one. This time I won't blow it. Well, hasn't anyone ever given you a second chance? Hey. I thought you said you'd finished your own work last night. Oh, I forgot this. You've missed enough school without falling even further behind. <sighs> yeah, like that was his fault. Excuse me? Who asked you? Does anybody ever ask me anything? Absolutely, these will do. Oh, it looks pretty much like what they all wear. I don't want to stand out. Not worried, eh? <sighs> what did they make at this factory? Stickers, bras. Hey, is something funny? Listen, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Good uh, luck, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Try. And you two, don't be late. Straight down on the ring road, Are you okay for it? Yeah, no problem. Good luck to you. Right. You got this? Not yet. Oh, just put it down there. Are you going to be late for school? Hi, Katie. Hey? I can give her a lift if that's all right with you, Kev. Yeah, sure. It's up to Katie. Mum and Dad don't like me getting in cars with strange men. What was all that about? What? Being psyche to Tyrone. I only said I didn't want a lift. Yeah, but it's the way you said it. Do you want everybody talking about us? Dad, I don't care. Yeah, well, I do, and so does your mother. Now, go on, get off to school. Serve so you right if you are late. You're doing really well. You've done some sewing at home as well. So, uh, where are you from, though? Round here? No. Sheffield. Oh, yeah. I was there for a bit. Where about? Um, a hunter's bar, you wouldn't know it. Wow, I do. I'll be down that Eccles Hall Road, full of students. It's posh, you know, hunter's bar. Well, why did you move here then? From somewhere posh? It wasn't that posh. Ah, did a moon like Flitter? No. <laughs> no, of course not. So, uh, like Fizz says, why don't you go move somewhere nice? We like it round here. The house is nice. The doctor lives there, you know. I hope you can avoid it on what Kevin Webster and this place is. <laughs> You've just sewn up the leg instead of the gusset. Oh, there you go. You're up to Karen's standards already. <laughs> so, uh, what did you do before then? 
bear work. Look, I can't talk and concentrate at the same time, so if you don't mind. Oh, I hate leaving work when it's dark. Yeah, still, at least we don't feel guilty about going down for eh? <laughs> yeah, come on, buy a new workmate's drink. Hey, don't miss me. She's not even had her first pay to pack it yet. She won't be able to afford it then. Oh, that's <laughs> all right. I'll get you on. Makeup's giving you our time today, eh? I've been eh? Is Karen going soft? No, you're all right. I've got to get kids' tea on anyway. How old are these kids of yours? Katie's 16, Craig's 12. Well, plenty old enough to cope for this cell. Yeah, I know, but... Anyway, he's over there, so I've, I've got to go, all right. See ya. Mum, what's up? No, dear. you? Oh, get off, they're all watching. That's sweet. <laughs> you what? She can't sew, she doesn't drink. I think Joe's only took her on to wind us up. How do you know what's wrong with it? Oh, are you? Shh, you gotta listen. That'll do, Tommy! So, how was school? Oh, okay. Were you good at school? I was hardly ever there. Dad says you're right good, though. Natural. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, here you are. You can wipe them on me if you want. A clean spot somewhere. Have you, uh, got a girlfriend? Uh, no. Me and you could go out sometime if you like. Pictures of summer. Pizza. Tommy! Yeah, sure. So, uh, what are you thinking of? Um, never. Hey? I was winding my dad up. See ya. Oh, your references finally come through. What's wrong? You're writing yourself? No, of course not. You might well have done. These reckon you're nearly as good as you say you are. <laughs> Is that Kay gone? Oh, yeah. So, uh, you wanna... No, don't panic. We're not going out. Oh, but I thought... Yeah, me too. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd swear him and her are taking the mick out of me. Can you leave it? She's doing her best. Well, it's ridiculous, though, isn't it? I mean, what does she think it is? Some kind of competition, see who sells the slowest. Give over. Don't mind, Karen. Don't worry, love, I've had worse than that, believe me. Well, anyway, you'll speed up. I know. But I don't suppose there's any chance of me stopping behind tonight, get a bit practising without rent a go watching me every move. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, tell you what, why don't I stop with you? I might be able to give you a few tips. Oh, cheers. Um, listen, Angela, maybe you should come for a drink with us. Give you a chance to get to know girls a bit. No, I'll just uh, stop at home for me dinner. No offence, love, but some of the company around here might just put me off my sarnies. See ya. Oh, OK. See you later. Yeah, me and Earl. I'm not going to spend another minute in this place. Are you quick up? Well, I'll see. Right, I want to grab my pants. Are you coming, Earl, eh? Uh, no, no, thanks, Janice. I'm going to stop behind for a bit with Angela. Why well, I mean, she's keen. Or stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Right. Be useful. Thanks for staying late. Oh, it's no problem anyway. I was watching you earlier on and you were getting better all the time. You don't have to say that. It's true. Look where you're going at that end now. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, it's gone in my finger. Oh, oh, hang on a sec, hang on. Oh, no, no, it hurts. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, I'm going to take you to the hospital. No, no, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'll be all right. Look, I can put a dressing on it for now, but you're going to have to get it seen by a doctor. If that gets infected, Hayley, honestly, I'm fine. But look at you. Hayley, listen to me. I'm telling you, I do not want to go to the hospital. Well, you're going to have to. You might need a tetanus injection. Oh. Look, don't worry. I'll stop with you. I'm going to go and call us a taxi. <sighs> Excuse me, girls. Uh, is our Angela working late? It's just that she's not home yet. Yeah, she's stopping behind. She's not on her own, is she? No, no, she's with Ayla. That's our supervisor. Cheers. Why? Who a cow? Keeps her on a tight lead, doesn't he? Yeah, no wonder she's so flaming jumpy. Well, we'll take a break now. <sighs> Where's me mum? I'm starving. I told you, I don't know. Go make yourself a butty. I don't want a butty. I had some as you didn't time. Hey, Dad. Where's your mum? Oh, don't you start at all. No, I'm serious. Has she rang? Left the note out? No. What's going on? I don't know. 
I've just been down a pub and one of the women says she's working late. Then you can stop panicking, can't you? Yeah, but I've just been down a factory and there's no one near. Place is locked up. I can't believe this. I've checked everywhere. I don't know where she could be. Dad, is everything all right? I don't know, son. Yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be fine. But what if something's happened to her? She's probably just down her shops, lost track of time. You know what your mum's like. Yeah, but we always said we'd tell each other when we Look, I'm we sure there's nothing to worry about. Why don't you do something useful and put the kettle on it? Dad. She's not back by seven. I'm ringing the coppers. What are you going to say to him? I don't know, but I can't just sit... Sorry, I'm late, love. Mum! Hiya, darling. Angela, where the hell have you been? What have you done to your hand? It's nothing, honestly. Look, everyone just calmed down. I just had a little accident at work. I had to go to casualty. What kind of accident? What did you do? Nothing. I've just been a dope with a sewing machine, stitched my finger instead of a pair of knickers. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't call you, but payphone at the hospital were broke. But I'm all right, honestly. Have you had your tea? Katie did some chips in the microwave. Yeah, they were well rank. Couldn't eat them. <sighs> right, here you are, then. You two pop down the chippy. Reckon we could all do with a decent supper. I didn't know what to think. I was imagining all kinds of stuff. Well, you don't have to, cos I'm here and I'm all right. You know... I think we'd be used to this by now. To what? The unexpected. People do get ill. People are late. I was sat there in the hospital tonight watching it all. Walking wounded, doctors and nurses patching folk up, sending them home. So what's this got to do with us? Well, I'm just saying that we can't go on expecting the worst. Because it's not just us, is it? And if you look at it like that, everyone's got problems. But I'm sick. I'm so sick and tired of being scared all the time. I don't want to live like that, and I don't want you to. Or the kids. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is... is that all this is our new start. And we've got to make it work. And I'm going to really try, and do you know what, Tommy? I'm going to really try not to be scared anymore. Ah, oh, yeah, there's that Angela. What's she doing coming to work? Hello. I thought you said she'd hurt herself. The first rule of an industrial accident, take as long as you can off work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, some people are more conscientious than that. Oh. Angela? Hiya. Hiya. Hey, how's your finger? I'll live. That's all right. You didn't have to come in today, you know. Oh, you're all right. You want to get that order finished for tomorrow, don't you? Thanks. Ho oh, ho. You're going to miss a great night out. Yeah? Yeah. Off to Rovers, then for a curry. Probably end up clubbing. <laughs> I'd rather stay in with family. It doesn't seem to have made much difference, these, of course. Because it still hurts. It's all right. I've had worse. I had a pitchfork through my foot once. Long story. <laughs> Spent ages in casual, say. How long were it before they saw you? I had a bung around with you, but I had to go home. I hope they didn't keep you waiting long. A couple of hours. Oh, dear. Couldn't find me in the system or something. Probably because you haven't been there before. Well, that would normally make a difference. When I had the pitchfork incident, I was on a mini break in New Haven, but I had no trouble being seen there. Oh, well, just my luck, eh? Have you registered with the doctor yet? No, I haven't had time. Well, that might be it, then. I go to a medical centre on Rosamond Street. They're very good. It's something you should do. That and your dentist. Yeah, well, I'll go when I've got a chance, eh? Well, make sure you do, before you get into trouble. I go to one on Tile Street, but there's a sign-up saying they're not taking anyone else on. We could try up White Town Hall. There's a practice there. It's where Roy went last year when he had his abscess. Yeah, I'll go when I get a chance, all right? Right. Sorry. Uh, didn't mean to go on. Let's go and check on them bra looks. Well, lads, you've got to promise me now. No strippers. Uh, I promise, no strippers. And I don't want to end up naked on some night train, either. All right, all right. Hey, Tommy, it's going to be a good night tonight, mate. He's not coming. Hmm? Why not? I've got stuff to do. You can't pass up on a steak night. Besides, 
Gives you a chance to see your boss, drunk as a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'd stay in my hands and watch TV with the kids. Oh, oh dear, I see. Dear. Under the thumb, oh, hey, hey. Hey. Oh, no, Come on, lads, give it a rest. If he doesn't want to come, you know, one of my own workforce turning his back on me. I know. <laughs> you really want me to come? Yeah, of course I do. I'll come and have a couple. Nah, good lad. Good lad. I suppose it'll give me a good chance to meet the neighbours, eh? They are. No, that's not where he went wrong. He went wrong because he got caught out. Oh, yeah, Jack. What? And you've never been caught out, then? Well, once or twice, yes, but in plenty of times our Vera's known out about it. I'll bet. Well, I've never been unfaithful to Angela. Give over. Never. Not in 18 years of marriage. You mean you've never fancied a bit of the... Uh, how's your fault? Oh, yeah, of course I have, but never enough to risk everything for. Oh, good on you, mate. We should never cheat her on, so... All those wasted years. Nah, uh, never mind. We're oh, together again now. Oh, I've got to pace myself oh, bad enough already. Oh, I said that when it's not like you're driving, you're only across the street. Hey, you've been long enough. What? I said you've been long enough. Oh, I've just had a few drinks, that's all. Yeah, well, everything all right? Yeah, it's fine. Come on, let's get in. Let's freeze it. <laughs> Good night, Kevin. Hey, Tommy, you're married. Well, I know you've got family there. So you're either married or living over the brush, right? It's all legal as it happens. Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong. I've nothing against marriage. Nothing at all. If it's to the right woman, who I found at the finish, only she left me. Is that right? You've probably seen her walking about on the street, even though you've not met her. Janice, she's called. A very good-looking woman. Bye, Norris. Oh, sorry. Hey, what are you doing that stop that? Hey. Oh, oh, help! Oh, oh, hey, are you okay? Oh, oh, oh that, that lad, he's got me a handbag. Oh, never mind about your handbag. We'll be all right. Oh, Blanche, are you hurt? Rita, I've been mugged. Oh. I knew I'd say it was more of a lad, wouldn't you, Mr. Nelson? Uh, do you know Mr. Nelson, Ken? Oh. Ken Barlow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see you around here. Well, Pulse within normal limits, according to me. Still to be on the safe side, you'd better see a doctor. Oh, life's still short. Exactly, that's why you need a doctor. If you think I'm going to spend hours in a waiting room at Hospital Casualty, you've got another thing coming. If I feel groggy tomorrow morning, I'll ring the surgery. And I, like Rita was saying, that this thug, he were only a lad. Isn't that right, Mr Nelson? He came running when he saw what the lad were doing. Thank you, by the way. I'm very glad for your help. Yes, well, I endorse that. Do you think you could identify this lad? You know, give the police a description. I didn't see anything, really. I heard this lady shout, went running over, but I just glimpsed somebody running off. They had the back to me. But he was a lad. I mean, I saw that. I don't know. Anyway, I'd better be getting back to work. Kevin will think I've done a runner. Bye bye. You know, he must have seen something. I mean, I heard you shout, and I was out pretty quick, and he was already with you. Well, he was a lad. I mean, I saw that, but I only saw the back of his head. But he was coming from the other way. He must have seen something. Is it just me? Is there something fishy about that fella? You were both here working at the time, then, were you? Yeah, uh, I can't tell you anything, no. I was working in the back office trying to catch up on some invoices. First I knew of it was when Tommy came back from the cabin, told me what had happened. Right. Mr Nelson, is it? Yeah. Er, uh, well, I can't tell you much either. I was working under this car at the time. Under it, why? I thought it was an oil leak. All right. Uh, I heard a woman shout, so I slid out from under the car and I looked up and there's an old deer down on the pavement. So I shot over as quick as I could, helped her up. That's about it, really. You didn't see the thief at all? No. Pity. Oh, well. It's the police. What's up now? Oh, here we go again. Afternoon. Wow, really? Some people are so rude. Light, Mother, light, daughter. Hey, Mum, you shouldn't say that in our house. It's okay, it's okay, just calm down, don't worry about it. Kev, is it all right for knock off? Yeah, sure. We'll call that a day now anyway. Oh, come on, let's grow my starving. But what did they want? Just come on. Wait, will you tell me? What did the police want? Will you want? just calm down the pair of you? Come on, get in. 
There was a mugging outside the newsagents. Young lad snatched a woman's handbag. That old biddy lives next door to a pub. What lad? I don't know. I've never seen him before in my life. She was on the floor and I went to help her up. And then the coppers turned up, asked me if I'd seen her. And what did you say? Nothing. Never saw a thing. Good. Right, if anyone wants a job, do we? Book them in from tomorrow onwards, OK? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, well, listen. Close about five o'clock tonight. Come across to us, have a bit of something to eat and bring, you know, wedding celebration. No fancy, just bring your missus. Oh, cheers. Yeah. See you later. When you're a married man again, eh? I suppose they never catch the bloke, but at least if they do, you'd be able to identify him. Eh? Hey? No, I couldn't do that. I've already told the police I didn't get a proper look at him. So, you went running to help Blanche with your eyes tight shut, did you? Eh? Hey? No, of course I didn't. It's like they say, there's none so blind as them who don't want to see. Well, I'm sure Mr Nelson would say if he had seen the young folk properly. All I know is that Rita Sullivan and Morris Cole at the cabin, they're both positive he must have seen everything that happened. How can you be sure what someone else has seen? I don't think I ever really said thank you to Mr Nelson for coming to help me. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, thanks. I'm on my own at the garage today, so I'd better be getting back. Angela? What? Men are dead vain about the way they look, aren't they? Some are, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Is uh, your husband like that? Tommy? No, is he a... Oh, only cos I was thinking that maybe he should be wearing glasses, but he's not doing cos he's too vain. Oh, sorry, I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, you do. The whole street wants to know why he claimed he didn't see that laddie mug Blanche on. Although, he was standing nearby and he went to her when she screamed. Come on, girls, be fair. No, could have been any one of us that got mugged. Could have been you or your daughter. Will you give over getting at her? It's OK, Hayley. No, it's not OK. Just stop picking on her. Well, I still say, get him to get his eyes tested. <laughs> what are we going to do about this dreadful family we're now having our midst? Uh, Dorian. The father's obviously been on the wrong side of the law in his time and the rest of the family have appalling manners. Dorian. The Nelson children just heard what you said. They came in, got an earful of your remarks, and left, feeling very hurt, I should imagine. Oh, oh. well, uh, I'm sorry their feelings were hurt, but they can't expect people to like the way they behave, can they? Stupid cow. It's not just her, though. The entire street hates us. Yeah, well, she's still a stupid cow, though. Come on, let's go to home, sweet home. Hey, Tommy, you must be Angela. Come in. Tommy and Angela's here. Um, Hello. I think you know everyone by now, don't you? Hi. Uh, Angela, what would you like to drink? There's um, some white Hi. wine open. Oh, yeah, that's great. Thanks. Tommy? A uh, beer, please. Uh, Kev, get Tommy a beer. Sure. What have you invited them for? Oh, I don't know. You've got me. It works for Kev, doesn't it? It's all right. It's only me and your dad. Oh, you made yourself something to eat. We're going to have some of that cafe on corner. Only that stuck up car from next door was going about what horrible family we are. She will what? Have a good mind to go around there. No, you won't. No, but I'd like to. How do you want us to do then across the road? Oh, well, we got some nasty looks, especially from that police woman and her that runs the news agents, but nobody said anything. <laughs> Probably because they don't want to talk to us, eh? The Websters are all right, Kevin and his missus. Oh, great! So there's two people in the street who don't think we're monsters. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to tell them all exactly what I think of them. Hey, the day you do that is the day we have to start packing. You know something, Ange. Maybe it's going to come to that anyway. Cheers, mate. Oi! Oh. Tuna. Oh, I hate tuna. It's good for you. Anyway, you're supposed to have one portion of fish a week that ain't wrapped in newspaper. Who is yours? I don't have any. Oh, you've got to stop this dieting thing. You look great. In fact, I think we've just got to yeah. have a quick look. Oh. Anyway, I'm not dieting. I'm going to Rovers with the girls. You are joking. I knew you'd say that. I've got to face up to it sometime. Yeah, but you're not ready. You've not given yourself enough time. Well, I think I have, so I'm going to give it a go. Oh, you're daft. What about all them girls that you work with? We're not exactly flavour of the month, are we? Meet our new neighbours, the lepers of Coronation Street. Hey, what about all them? I'm not going to let them get to me. Oh, uh... Look, I've told you before, if I don't do something, I'm going to end up a hermit. So I'm not going to let the past or gossip get to me anymore. There's only one way to deal with this, and that's to front it out. Draw. 
Ah, the hero. That was nothing. I know. That's what some folk keep telling me. But they know now, do they? Nah, I don't suppose. I mean, it weren't them that were looking into the cold blue eyes of a psycho. They were blue, weren't they? I don't know. Oh, were they brown? Me eyesight's not what it was. Well, it could have been, but it happened that quick, you know. Anyway, it's good to see you back in your feet. You know, to have got to you in the time he did it, he must have seen who did it. Oh, I'm beginning to think you're right. Well, I wish he would have identified him, because there's been another mugging. Oh, no. Yeah, and they think it's the same lad. Oh, dear. It's all very suspicious, you know. I mean, Still, at least he came to help. I didn't see you jumping over any counters to rescue me. Are we going to the Rovers this lunchtime? Oh, no, I'm supposed to be doing some shopping. <laughs> Why? No reason. Oh, you? <laughs> it's me. Oh, that's nice, because you've not been with us before, have you? No, I thought we might give it a try. Well, stick with this lot, because they're there all the time. I'll see you later. It's settled. All partners are banned. It's just us yeah. and as much food as we can handle. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the Oh, leave me to it, mate. <laughs> yeah, great. So, excuse me, what? Well, it'd be good to get a pint in. Or several. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere that you can recommend, John? Queen's Ed. That's not so far away. Yeah, or oh, the Green Man. They don't fuss there. Right then, lovely. You enjoy your drink then, love. You girls? Yeah. Don't be like that. <laughs> I was right, wasn't I? I knew it'd be too soon. I knew it'd be too much. You're not ready. It weren't that. What then? They made it quite obvious that my company weren't wanted. You what? They had lots of suggestions where to go for a drink, but the Rovers weren't included. Oh, they're rotten cows. I'm <sighs> sorry, love. It's not your fault. Of course it is. It's that flaming mugging. You had no choice. Yes, I did. Maybe I just chose wrong. Can you stick another one in there, shall I? Yeah, Um. I've only got one pair of hands, Johnny. I'm going to get yourself some more, Star. That will do. Find it, please, love. Cheers. I think you can spot a wrong and a mile off. You don't know. What do you need to know? Why would a man refuse to come forward unless he was one of the same kind? Honour among thieves. Exactly. You were probably the accomplice. To stop me chasing after the mugger to make a citizen's arrest. Someone's up. You what? Well, you've been quiet ever since you got home. The wine. So? You're something else, do you know that? That's why I'm not having it. What? You. I'm not having you humiliated. I mean, who do they think they are, this lot, eh? Hey. No, 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 no. This is keeping our head down stuff. It's not working. If out, it's making people notice us even more. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm down the cop shop and I'm changing my statement. I'll just give him a description. No one will come of it. How do you know? Well, what can I tell him? He's a young white lad. Average build, average height. I mean, they'll never catch him. Are you sure? Nah, he'll not even get to court at all. So what are you going to do? Go down the police station? Well, what I thought, I thought I'd see that copper over the road. Ask her for advice. Then she can put the word out that I'm doing the right thing, being a responsible citizen. I mean, the whole point's to get the neighbours off her back, innit? Oh, and here's the man to do it. Do what? Oh, we were just talking about the mugging, you know, the one you didn't see. Oh, I thought my ears were burning. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about that. It's not that I didn't see it. Oh, so you did see it? Well, he's just an average young lad. I don't think I could give much of a description. But if you think you can help catch him, I'll do it. Yeah, brilliant. So what do I do? Make an appointment or go down the station? No, I'll take you down there now. We'll see if we can sort out an identity parade. A what? An identity parade. We've got a suspect. If you can identify the lad as the one who attacked Blanche, then... I can't. But you said you saw him. I didn't. Not really. But you were going to give us a description. I can't. Look, I'm sorry. I've got to get back to work. Look, there's nothing to I be didn't afraid see of. Well, what do you make of that? He was lying through his teeth. I take it all back. Men are the weaker sex. Well, they are if he's anything to go by. He's going to give him a description. That's good. 
How come he's changed his mind all of a sudden? Must be offering a reward, are they? That mugger will be long gone by now. Thanks to you, Norfolk. Look, he's doing the best he can. I'm finished here, really, not took you. Take your time. Why don't you, what, give her a chance? Did that mugger give Blanche a chance? That's not Angela's fault. No, but it was her fella's fault that he's out on the loose. You heard it. He's going to the police. He's doing the right thing. Hayley, Hayley, you are a lovely woman, but you're dead gullible. Do you know that? Hey, that fella of yours were dropping big hints about that trip to Greece before. Oh, no. Roy don't drop hints. He says what he means and he means what he says. No, no, he was trying to manipulate you. No, you don't know him. Roy don't do manipulation. Oh, come on, we all do it sometimes. No, he just felt sorry for Mrs McGarvey, that's all. No, he was really dying for you to say that he could go in her place. Quite a pub? No, I told the missus I'd be back for me dinner. There's something we need to tell her. So big now, won't she? She might be. She was in two minds about it. Listen to him. Having a time of the lives, aren't they? Come on, come for the pint. Go on now, make it a quick one. Eh? <laughs> That's him. <laughs> First time in a pub for a while. I know. How's it going? Not great. Early twisted my arm and then disappeared. Listen, I'm in the middle of getting a big round in here. What, are you trying to buy me? I'll try anything once. Have you been to the police? Not yet. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, all right. Take care. <laughs> Come on, mate. Sit down. That's Angela. She's just got to the bar. Yeah, I know that. Come on. I've got some business all you want. Anything else? Uh, Buckram Coke, oh, please. Yeah. Yeah. Pack a moves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, £14.70, please. Yeah, I'll keep change. Oh, thanks. What are you laughing at? <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. No, no, nothing ever is. I, I, I don't suppose you saw anything either, did you, Mr Nelson? I heard a bit of a commotion, yeah. Yeah, he's going to look in the wrong way when it suits him. Hey, take the notice. That's another thing he's good at, taking no notice. Yes, Blanche is uh, just at the bar with Kevin Webster. Is it right that you saw who attacked me? I didn't get a good look. Oh, good enough to give the police a description until you found out they'd actually called him. Notice this has got nothing to do with you. Why are you defending him? Why are you employing him? Ask him. Ask him why he won't pick the mugger out of an identity parade. He's got no sense of community spirit. What kind of man are you? It's in Blanche! Yeah, go on, Blanche, there'll be no witnesses. <laughs> what kind of man takes sides with a mugger against a pensioner? I bet he knows him. I bet he's one of his family. Hey, shut your mouth! Oh, you don't know a thing, you don't know notes about my hey, family. Come on, Tommy, let's go, mate. I'm sick of a lot of you. Treat us like dirt, making psyche comics. Well, you know nothing, none of you. You might not like us, but we're here and we're staying. So just keep out of our way. Hey, you can follow your no good husband and sling your hook. You're not wanted. Yeah, bye bye, baby. That's Janice. My husband's twice the man of anyone round here. You bloody bronze. That's what he is. He saw everything that happened, Hayley. Yeah, and he's going to give a description to the police. Oh, wake up, Hayley. So naive. He is. Look, he's refused to pick him out of an identity because he wants him to get away with it. Is this true? I don't understand. Is it true? I've been the only one to stand up for you. I know. And you've been manipulating me all along. I haven't. You've made me look like a fool. A stupid, naive fool. I'm really sorry, Hayley. Everybody said they're no good, but I was on your side. I said, no, give him a chance, he'll do the right thing. Imagine if Blanche had been your mother. I haven't seen my mother in months. And you know why? Because the last time I were in a pub, I saw a man killed. I were a barmaid. I knew the man, I knew the man that did it. I picked him out of an identity parade. I went to court, I did the right thing. And my family have suffered ever since. And them over there with the snide comments and their dirty looks, they think they know us. They don't even know our real name. I think it's easy to be a witness, let them try it. Let them take the threatening phone calls. 
Let them drag their screaming kids out of a burning house, stand in the nighty and watch their home and everything they've ever owned go up in smoke. Let them tell their kids that they can't ever see their mates again. Take them to a place they don't know and tell them to pretend to be someone they don't want to be. That's what I've had to do early. Why didn't you say? Because it's meant to be a secret! We were sent here by the police to hide, for our own protection. Because if the family of that man I sent to prison ever find us, they'll kill us. Eh? Now leave us alone. It's toast here if you want it. I don't. Where's our Craig? He's outside playing football with David. Where? It's all right. He's only up the street. Kid's got to have some fun. It is a sappy. I'm going to the shop. We're nearly out of milk. You're just trying to avoid me, aren't you? You're still mad at me for not changing my statement. No, I'm not. Look, I know it's going to be hard for you at the factory, but what could I do? I can't take the risk of IDs and court and stuff. We're on a witness protection programme. We're supposed to be lying low. I know. It's not that. It's... Well, what is it, then? You don't think I've got as much bottle as you, do you? That's it, innit? You what? You think that I'm a coward for letting that lad get away with it? Well, I'm sorry, but I happen to think the safety of my family comes first. And I don't. I never said that. No, you don't have to. Look, I am sorry I ever went to work in that flaming pub. I don't like keeping our kids prisoners, watching their every move. I don't like living under a different name, pretending to be someone we're not. If I could turn the clock back, I would, but I can't. I know. Look, I didn't mean to have a go at you. It's just... I suppose I feel guilty, that's all. I know they've got that lad for the other stuff, but, but they ain't got him for what he did to Blanche Hunt. And she must be gutted knowing that he's got away with it. Oh, don't worry, you have done the right thing. Do you think? Yeah. It's me who needs to learn to keep a big mouth shut. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Can I have a quick word? Yeah, of course. Uh, about what I said yesterday. You haven't told anybody, have you? No, son, I'm not going to either. Good. Well, I was going to tell Roy, but don't worry, he won't say it. Hey, mate, you can't. Oh, it's my husband. We tell each other everything. No, I, I don't care who he is. If it were enough that I let it slip in the first place, I can't risk it going any further. It won't. You can trust Roy. Oh, you just don't get it, do you? Listen, this is not just some silly gossip we're talking about. This is stuff that could get us killed. I didn't just see a bloke nick some sweets. I saw him shove a metal blade between someone's ribs and, and then walk off as if he didn't give a damn, because folk like that don't. Do you know what the brothers did the night after he got sent down? They shoved dog muck through our letterbox. Next it looked window smashed. Spent all night picking glass out of our Craig's arm. Surely you're safe now that the police have moved. No, we're not safe anywhere. That's the point. These blokes are not playing games. We nearly died in that fire. So I'm sorry, Hayley, don't tell me who to trust. Because of that night, I can't trust anybody. Hey, Hayley, I I'm sorry to interrupt, but I could do with some help here. Come on, Hayley, I'm going out my mind here. I've got to start packing, I need to know. It's all right, I won't tell him. I mean, it's not like I'm keeping anything from him, really, is it? It's your secret, not mine, and I reckon you've got enough trouble on your mind without me adding to it. Thanks. I don't know what this means. You're not listening to the gossip as well, eh? Even you've got to admit, he is a bit weird. And going back on his statements like that. Even you've got to have your doubts. Yeah, and if I do, I keep them to myself. So should you. The only thing we should be concerned about is if he's good at his job or not. Which I am. Yeah, no, just been saying that. Is there no else you were just saying? No. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, look, there's Katie. Do you want to go over? Why should we? She's so stuck up. When I tried to talk to her in school, she just walked off the cheeky cow. Well, maybe she's just shy. Come on. Give her a second chance. Hiya. I'm Sarah. I'm David's sister. Yeah, no. He's settling in all right. I suppose. It's all right round here. I mean, there's enough all to do. You've got to go into Manchester for that. Mm, fat chance. One won't let me have a sight, let alone into town. Why? Uh, no reason. She's just like that. I don't get to go out much either. I heard about your accident. When you come back to school? After Christmas. Is it true you've got a kid? Yeah. Must be hard for you. 
Yeah, I got used to it. The hardest part was the tongs wagging in school. Yeah, well, I know what that's like. We can't blame people, though, can you? I mean, the bouncer wonder. Wonder what? Whether your dad's on the run or not. Candice! Yeah, well, he's not. Well, you would say that, though, wouldn't you? I mean, if he's got nowhere to hide, how come he won't go to the police after that mugging? Because he didn't see out. That is why. That's not what I heard. I heard he's scared of the coppers because they're after him for summer. Well, people can say what they want because it doesn't matter. It's not true. OK, is it all right for any pong? Yeah, might as well knock off for your dinner now. Cheers. Sorry, let's go. Yeah. Suppose I'd want to keep quiet if my dad was a criminal. Shut your mouth, you. You don't know what you're talking about. Of course I do. My dad is straight as the cum. He has never been in trouble in his life. In fact, if you must know... Oh, just in here now. You're out of order, you. Right. Show's over. Back to work, Tyrone. Yeah. Ty, have your wallet, mate? No, must be Tommy's. Uh, name of Varys on here. Must be a customer's. I'll leave it on the side there in case they come back, okay? All right. But she was slagging you off, Dad. You were the thing she was saying. Yeah, well, everybody was slagging me off in the pub yesterday, and I could have told them the truth, but I didn't, because I weren't stupid, and neither should you be. I hate them talking about you like that, though. If I can put up with it, so can you. You've got to remember why we're doing this. One slip up, and we're back on the run again. Do you want that, eh? Don't care. I hate it here anyway. Yeah, well, you'd hate it even more if you got snatched on the, on the way to school or came home to find your little brother missing. What about the other week, eh, when your man went to casualty and we didn't know where she were? What were going through our heads then? We didn't know whether she'd been beat up or she's lying dead in a gutter somewhere. Do you want that to come true? How would you feel then, eh? Sometimes think that bloke that got stabbed came off best. How can you say that? He lost his life, remember? Yeah, and we've lost ours and all. Only difference is, with him, it was over in a minute. We've got this forever, thanks to you. Why couldn't you just keep your big mouth shut? Hey, Kitty, don't... don't just leave it, Tommy. <sighs> She'll come round. She just needs to make a few pals. Oh, you heard her. She wants her old mates, and I'm the one who's taken her away from them. I can't blame her for hating me. Oh, she don't hate you. She's just finding it hard, that's all. She's only a kid. Look, well, just get a few weeks, and then I'm sure everything will be back to normal. Shouldn't you be getting back to the garage? Yeah, I will. I'll just have a word. For all the good it will do, yeah? Fancy switching that off? You've upset your mum, you know, talking to her like that. She's upset us. She just did what she had to do. You know, like I would have gone to the police about that mugging if I could have. She didn't know it was going to turn out like this. In a way, it's harder for her than it is for us. And how do you work that out? Because she's got no one to blame, has she, except for herself. And she does. I'm the one who lies next to her when she's tossing and turning. She gives herself enough for a hard time without us adding to it. Your mum loves you, Katie. We both do. I hate it when we fall out. K -k -k Katie, beautiful Katie, you're the only k -k -k girl that I adore. <laughs> hey, sorry I took so long. Miss Kev? Oh, he's popped up to Ankles for some spare parts. He wants you to do an oil change on the car outside, and then you can help me with the exhaust on this one. All right, then. Put the kettle on, eh? Oh, great. All right, side on? All right. Customer come back for that wallet, eh? Well, I suppose he must have. I don't know, I've been concentrating on this all afternoon. The bolt seized and I don't use heat on it. It's doing me heading. See so, what? Well, let's go for a pint, eh? And we'll knock off early. Now, here, what won't keep till Monday? Could do with spending a bit of time with selling the kids. Oh, suits me, sir. Tommy, forget the brew, we're going for a pint. It's only if you fancy it. Why shouldn't I? Well, I just thought, uh, after yesterday. Take more than that to keep me away from my pint. Unless you've got a problem with it. No? Good. 
There you go, Lord. Oh, cheers, Betsy. OK. Nah, that's all right. I'll get these. Tano, you get these. What word outside? Mm -hmm. OK, go on. What's the matter? Feeling flush, are you? I like to burn me way, that's all. Look, don't come the innocent with me. You thought I wouldn't notice. That's that wallet I left on the side in the garage belongs to a customer. No, it's not. It's mine. I must have fell out of my jacket this morning. Oh, you changed your name since then as well, have you? What are you on about? I had a look inside. It belongs to someone called Addis. What, you've been looking at me things? They're not your things. So come on, hand it over. I'm telling you, it's mine. And if you don't believe me, check the customer list. There's nobody called Addis on it. It could belong to someone who came in with a customer. And you've still not answered me question. If it's yours, how come there's a union card in there what doesn't belong to you? That's my business. Look, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Kevin. Yeah, that's been my trouble, hasn't it? Trusting you. I stuck up for you yesterday when everyone was slagging you off. I should have listened to him, shouldn't I? You're not but a thief. You're wrong. Look, you're gonna hand it over or what? No. Then you're sacked. I don't want to see your face round here again. You got crisps? Yeah, that's right. Huh? I never knew we had crisps. That's just enough for you for me pack lunch. Is there any more toast? Have you got worms? I only had one slice. She had the rest. Oh, you know not have to bed. Well, get up your backside and have a look in the cupboard. There's something wrong with the toilet. It weren't me. Well, what's up with it? I don't know. It makes a funny hissing sound after you flushed it. Not in there. I'll have a look in a minute. Look, have some marmalade. I don't like that marmalade. It's chunky stuff. Can I have a pack of crisps? We're not made of money. Sorry, I only asked. You want crisps? Have crisps. I'll tell you what, we'll all have crisps for breakfast. What do you want? Cheese and onion, salt and vinegar? Salt and vinegar. What about you? Any smoked potatoes? Ready salted. Cheese and onion? Are you all right? I will be. After me chicken tikka. Oh, I've got to get off. It's only five pounds. Well, I've got a lot on. Oh, and uh, by the way, we're out of chocolate spread. Hi, Gus. Hi, yeah. Uh, you haven't seen Kevin Webster this morning, have you? Uh, no, sorry, I've not seen him. Thanks. Morning. Look, uh, I think we had a bit of a misunderstanding the other day. No, we didn't. I'm not a thief. It's my wallet. So how come it's not got your name in? It's not got your driving licence, photographs of your kids. How come the only thing with the name on wasn't yours? I'm not sentimental about things like that. A wallet's for keeping money in. Look, that union card, it belonged to one of my mates. I'm just keeping it for him till I see him. There was 60 quid in the wallet. If somebody had have lost it, they'd have noticed, wouldn't they? Has anybody claimed it? Has anybody rung in saying they've lost the wallet? Not yet. No, and they won't. He won't. Because if they do, I'll point them at the police and send them round your house. Happened. I got sacked. Oh. oh, oh, I'm sorry, love. Just want to see your face. I thought it were kids. Why? Oh, it was my fault. I always keep my wallet on me, and it must have been when I was changing into my overalls. But Kevin found my wallet, and he didn't believe it were mine. Why not? Because it had my old union card in it. We had old name on it. We we handed in. Everything that could identify us. I never handed me. Oh, you stupid idiot! Hey, we were handing in birth certificates, wedding certificates, passports, driving licences. I just wanted one thing. I just wanted to keep one thing that reminded me who I used to be. I was wrong. It was a mistake. So he sacked you. Yeah. And now everyone's going to think you're a thief on top of everything else. Well, I thought when no one came in to claim it, it changed his mind. And when did this happen? Saturday. And he never told us. I thought it'd be all right. Right, well, you're going to have to tell him the truth. I can't. You've got no choice. Of course I've got a choice. It could still blow over. All right, I was stupid. Trust me, I feel stupid. But that's no reason to take that kind of risk, is it? All right, just tell him you changed your name. 
And when you ask why? Well, Kevin's a decent kind of bloke. You've got to trust somebody. I can't. It's the only way we're going to make this work. We can't trust anyone. Oh, I don't believe It'd it. It'd be all right. Who did you tell? Early at work. Oh, that's why It'll she... be all right! Oh, we might as well phone him now and tell him we blew it. We're going to have to start all over again. No child, no houses, no names. Oh! Hayley won't say anything. She understands how important this is. Have you any idea the amount of stick I've been taking at work just because you refuse to identify that mugger? Oh, so it's all my fault. Well, if you just said what you saw straight away... I am trying really hard. We're all trying, Tommy, not just you. Oh, I can't live like this. I can't stand having to check myself every time I open my mouth. Making sure I've always got my story straight. Making sure I never let it slip. I'm a useless liar. My dad knew I was going to tell a lie the moment I drew breath. I'm just not used to it. You'll learn. I don't want to learn. Some deal this is, isn't it, eh? You stand up in court and tell the truth once and we all end up telling lies every day for the rest of his lives. And what would you have done, eh? Turned a blind eye, a bloke got killed. I know. You know I wish I hadn't been there. I wish it had been you. Cos I'd like to see you tell one great big fat lie just so the rest of us could live an easy life. Oh, it must be great for you. Every time it gets tough, you can always run up to the moral high ground, can't you? <laughs> right. I'm going back to work cos at least one of us has got a job. I'm sorry I told Ailey, all right. It's just I thought I could trust her. You can't trust anyone. You should know that. Yeah, well, it's all done now, innit? Let's just book us ideas up, shall we? Been through worse than this before. It's not going to work here, is it? We've got to make it work, haven't we? But you better tell them about the wallet, haven't you? So they know what lie to tell you, me. It was your wallet. <sighs> Listen, you two, uh, before you hear it from anybody else, I've been sacked. Oh, what for? Was it because of that mugging? Kevin found me wallet. It had my old union card in it with our old name in it. He thought a customer had dropped it. I said it was mine, but I couldn't explain why, and he thought I'd nicked it. So we're thieves are we now? It'll be me they'll be calling it, not you. It'll be all of us. Yeah, well, if they do, just keep, keep it... Keep it buttoned, we know. <sighs> Don't say that clear as name like the truth. Katie, you know what a score is. Yeah. We'll take it all lying down, Dad, just for you. Come on. Oh, watch your purses, girls. I'm sorry. Er, uh, nothing. Can I, uh, get anyone a drink? That's Tommy. Found another wallet. I'm fine, thanks, Angela. Yeah, I think I'll buy my own, thanks. Me and all. You shouldn't be so worried on it. <laughs> you are? You know what it's like to be wrongly accused, that lottery ticket business. Do you know some that we don't? No. I just think we should give her a chance, that's all. Ailey, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You are too soft for your own good sometimes. Thinking about my mum today. What about her? It'd be nice to talk to her once in a while. They are getting yards, aren't they? That's no. why you want to talk to her, innit? Well, it's just being cut off from your friends and family. A lot like we are. It's, isn't it getting to you and all? Do you think we can still make it work? We can't go on running. Well, maybe if we didn't keep things from one another. Yeah, well, we both need to take that on board, don't we? Can go for a burger, Dad, to celebrate Christmas holidays. What are you like? Spend every meal time thinking about the next one. Can we? Maybe a drink or so. We're not too flush at the moment, love. Tell you what, I'm definitely getting a second job. Oh, are you? Can I get one? No. no. Oh. Record shop, clothes shop, somewhere where the staff discount will come in under. Oh, you've got it all mapped out, have you? Mm -hmm. Well, someone around here's got to be earning. That is enough. Anyway, me and your dad have still got to talk about it. Oh, great. In other words, dream on. I don't want to work in town. Mm. More chance of people seeing her. Well, Toya definitely wants to do less hours because of her studying. <laughs> studying a new fellow, if you ask me. <gasps> well, that's perfect for Katie. She'd work hard. Mm, sure. Mind you, she doesn't lift a finger for me and Tommy. But I know she'd left out for you. She might even chuck in a smile. Could just be window. Good <laughs> <laughs> moment, right. Well, Roy should be on terra firma about now. Only just. The propellers will still be going round. Oh, I'm sorry to go on. Well, you don't look it. Right, two pounds. No, these are on the house. 
No, you're all right. Go on, Christmas comes but once a year. Hmm? I'd rather pay. Am I bringing this in or what? Yeah. Right, well, we'll bring them over. Oh, sorry. Well done, love. It's not like we need all the friends we can get or anything, is it? We're not charity cases. Free hot chocolate. What is your problem? It's special treatment. <laughs> Sound. Well, that's all we need. Been Christmas shopping? Nah, no, just decorations and that. I'm sorry if I've offended you. You haven't. There's no harm done. Well, should we tell her? Tell me what? She might not like the pity. You want a Saturday job? You've got a Saturday job. <laughs> <laughs> this place. Wicked. Loads of freebies. Oh, yeah. ah! One Christmas card from Ailey. Couldn't move for him last year. Yeah, but at least half of them were from people we couldn't stand. Good point, Thomas. What were you doing this time last year? Night before my mum's big do. Yeah. <laughs> Looking hairs at me, Nana's chin, probably. Charming. Oh, God love her. Our Craig were conked out on Sherry. You were pretending to like that bracelet that had traipsed halfway across town. I for. did like In it. In the sleet. <laughs> How do you think we fixed for that jacket our Katie's been banging on about? How do you think? Lordship's trainers, Katie's jacket, stocking fillers. I think your doll checks just about cover it. Come on, let's go for it. They've had a rotten year, haven't they? Well, 2003 will be even worse if we go mad on presents. I'll get a job soon. Things are going to pick up. Come here. Is it any good? Yes, all right. Uh, I've got you a little something extra. I thought it might come in handy. <laughs> I thought we'd opened all our presents. Except for this. Tell you the truth, uh, I don't want the kids to see it. Oh. It's all set and ready to go, so when you've got a minute, find yourself somewhere nice and quiet and give my ring. Oh, do you think it'll be all right? Yeah, I don't see why not. They won't trace us through that. Just be careful what you say. Yeah, I'm going to ring her now. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Ta-da! What do you think? Oh, it's lovely. Fantastic, love. Total knockout. You can't see my bra through it, can you? Of course not. Are we supposed to? No. Right, I'll uh, just pop outside for a minute or two. What are you doing? No, you need worry yourself about. Can I go around to David's? Yeah. Today, we're going to forget all his troubles and everybody can do whatever they like. David. What's the matter? It's me, Garan. Oh, does that mean you'll have to go in? I don't know what it means. She'll burgle us yesterday. I don't know what she'll be planning on doing today. No, I'll see you again. Oh, she was overjoyed to hear from me. In fact, I thought she was going to faint at first because she couldn't get a word out. It's not like your mother. Oh, I know. She soon found her voice. It was wonderful to talk to her again. It's the best present you could have bought me. Only, uh, she did make me promise that I'd ring her every week. Is that all right? Of course it is. Just don't get carried away and start telling where we are. That's no, 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 no. Somebody for you? Hey, hey how are you? you come in. I just thought I'd uh, come round and wish you all happy Christmas. <gasps> I brought you some mince pies, though. I dare say you've already got more than enough. Everybody has, haven't they? Oh, not us. No, I've not been right good at that this year, have I? Oh. Ah, but you've had an excuse, haven't you? What we, what's been going on and stuff? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Will you stay and have a drink? Oh, yeah, of course you will now. Sit down, Aileen. We've got beer, lager, whisk. I'll tell you what, have a whiskey. Oh, no, thanks. No, a, a, a glass of lager would be very nice. Thank you. A glass of lager. Hey, I've just thought on. You're not going to be on your own today, are you? Oh, no, no. I tell you, he's very kindly inviting me round. Because <laughs> you're Roy's not back yet, is he? No, no. He, he rang this morning. So, how is he? Well, he says he's all right. I've been out walking, getting plenty to eat, but I know he's not all right because I know him and I know that all he'll be doing is worrying about me when all I'm doing is worrying about him because I know he's worrying about me, which I know is silly, but I don't know how to stop. Oh, you're not silly. Of course you're worrying. Yeah, get that oh, down, yeah. Thank you. You see, the thing about Roy is he's very capable and sensible. Very. I'm sure he is. Except when he's worked up about something or desperate, like I know he must be now. And at times like that, it depends on me a lot. I'm the sensible one then. So the thought of him out there all by himself, worrying, well, 
I, I just get frightened for him. Well, you mustn't, cos I'm sure he's all right. I'm so sorry. I didn't come round to talk about all this. I really didn't. You've got enough problems. You don't need mine. Maybe we do. Maybe it'll help us forget about ours for a bit. He's right. It's good for us to realise that other folk have got problems and all. So you go on, love. You talk about your Roy as much as you like. Craig, wash your hands. We're going to start in a minute. Oh, great. I'm starving. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is this something you forgot to tell her? No, it's just... Uh, well, you know you said I could only phone my mum. Well... Go on. I just had to say Happy Christmas to our Lorraine. Oh. Well, if we can trust my mum, we can trust my sister, can't we? I suppose. Well, I'm my Uncle Frank. But nobody else, I promise. Right, where have we got to? You've been phoning folk. What? That is a mobile. You have got a mobile and you've been phoning folk. Only your grandma. Oh, didn't sound like it. I don't care what it sounded like. That phone is just for your mum and only to phone your gran. Well, she can do it. Why can't I phone someone? Because when you're on the phone, your mouth overtakes your brain and you'll end up telling everyone everything. Now, can we please get sat down? Oh, it's not fair! No, but it's Christmas. So, for once, I don't want to hear about what's not fair, cos I think this family knows more than most what's fair and what's not fair. Now, come on, sit down. So, I'll tell you what we'll do instead. We'll sing songs. It's your first choice. <laughs> what are you on about? You don't want to choose? All right, then I'll start. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle all, all the way. Oh, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. sleigh. Oh, jingle, jingle bells, bells jingle bells, bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hiya. Hiya. You sure it's going to happen today, then? Well, everyone call me Gerd Gob. I'm not talking about your new brace. I'm talking about that Craig Nelson. Oh, him. Mrs Kendall told him off yesterday. Why? Because he wrote the wrong name in his exercise book. Put some daft, did he? No, he put Craig Harris. Harris? Are you sure? Yeah. Then he scrubbed all over it. She said he made a right mess. Craig! You coming here, Kevin? Yeah, in a minute. See ya. See ya. See ya. We'll see ya. Tell Mrs Kendall that you're sorry, right? Just make a joke about it. A joke? In her class? Go keep your mouth shut and your head down. Well, that won't do you any harm, will it? I hate it. Go on, off you go, love. Oh, gross. Harris was the name on that wallet I found, you know. What, the one that Tommy reckoned was his? Yeah. Well, what do you make of that? Don't know. It's on. Mm. See you later. See ya. Now, your lads will want to win this autographed football, won't they? Pound oh, a ticket. Yeah, yeah, ah, David would love that. Yeah, give us a five as well. Oh, go on, same as me. So Mind you, don't know what the girls will do with it, though. Are they not mad on Beckham? Oh, yeah, and Will, and Gareth, and Robbie, and a dozen others. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Nah, no, Craig's a Leeds fan. Uh, he gets it from his mother's side of family. They're all daft. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were Sheffield people. We are, all of us, born and bred. You should be a Wednesday fan like me, but what can you do? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good cause. If I won it, he'd probably turn his nose up. He'd be the envy of his mates. It's just not his team. Oh, look, you're gonna buy a ticket, though, aren't you? For Maxine. Go on, in. How much did you say a quid? Yeah. The one? Yeah. Cheers. See ya. Yeah, see ya. You'd have thought he'd have bought another one. He'd have pinched that money anyway. It's a funny bloke. Yeah. Take no chances, Harry. Check that lot for foreigners. Tommy. Oh, hey, Kev. Early for a bonfire night, innit? Ah, it's just a bit of rubbish. I don't think the previous tenants ever tidied up. I've uh, brought your prize round from the raffle. All oh, right, did we win it? Hey, did you hear that, Craig? Yeah, catch. Mind you, not much of a prize, is it? If you're dirty Leeds fan, I suppose. <laughs> hey, look, uh, Rosie and David was telling us your Craig got in a bit bothered at school. Put the wrong name on his book or something. Ah, he's got a very vivid imagination, ah, Craig. Aren't you? Yeah. Look, I'm um, sorry, I don't want to be nosy or anything. Well, thanks for bringing the ball round. You're welcome. See you all anyway. Yeah. Ta-ra. Yeah. Do you think he's sweet? Well, what makes you say that? Oh, that business with a wallet. Our Craig put his real name down on his book. I mean, he definitely knows there's something not right. Come on, let's get inside.
Well, at least your Craig won't be kissing David Beckham's signature every night, which Rosie would have done if she'd won that football. Oh, Craig's been doing worse than that. Dad had to take it off him for treating it like a football. You're joking. Didn't I give you a tenner? No, I don't think so. I must have, because I only had a tenner. No, I'm sure you only... What's up? I the wrong bit. It's an easy mistake. What are you telling me for? I never said out. I got mixed up, sorry. It's fine. See ya. See ya. Tell the difference between a mistake and someone getting light fingered, you know. <laughs> Tat. Here we go. Nelson's back to square one again. Just when Kevin were being sound middle of the day, even though he were trying to get stuff out of us. Didn't offer you your job back, though, did he? I'll get someone. Right, well, I'll get these then, shall I? Hey, there's no need to be like that. I want to work. Well, you wouldn't say that if you had to spend all day listening to Karen McDonald's sappy gob. Working on a Sunday? Yeah, blame that. I used to have one of them. What's wrong with it? Uh, fuel's not coming through. Had it down as half hour job yesterday. Need it ready for tomorrow. I know a good out of work mechanical could help you out. If I could, mate. You've got me wrong, you know that. I wish you did. Stacked up over there, but this wallet business just don't add up. Come on, mate, help us out. What do you know about this, Thomas Harris? Sorry, mate. Better hide the silver. Hey, look, if you've got nothing to do, put some overalls on. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Hey. Still no luck with the fuel? Yeah, well, not wrong with the pumps or the lines. Is that a bump, has it? How do you know that? It's done a good job with the bodywork. Our Angela had one in ours. One of them women versus gate buff things. <laughs> she still managed to blame me, like. So you know what it is then, do you? Come on, tell us. Probably something simple, is it? I'm not sure I should give away my secrets. Well, maybe you should. Might make your life a lot easier. <laughs> Doubt it. Come on. Is it that bad, whatever you did? What I did? It could, this big secret. I know what name your Craig put on his book by mistake. Harris. The same name what was on that card and the wallet you found said was yours. So come on, what have you done? I've done no. Change your name? Up sticks. Says to me you've got a pass you want to forget. All right, look, I might have been wrong about this wallet. And I'm all for second chances, mate, but if I don't know what you've done, how can I judge? Well, you were pretty quick to judge when you sacked me. What else could I do? I didn't know who Tommy Alice was. All I knew, it wasn't you. And it's still in. All right, maybe she'll put a call out, put an advert in the cabin. Will the real Tommy Alice please stand hey, just up? just shut it, will you? All right. Hey. You shout that around. You might as well torture our house with us, innit? Torture house? Well, it's happened once before. Just forget you ever heard that name. Just keep thinking of me as Tommy Nelson, thief. Yeah, but you're not now, are you? A thief? No. Listen, we've got nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, I'm proud of my family. What's that I'm insane, then? Look, I know the name you had, and I know there's people after you. So why are you telling me the reason going to make it worse? Look, trust me. I want to take a risk. I want to give you a chance. If you take a risk on me and you're wrong, what are you going to lose? Couple of tools, bit of cash. If I trust you and I'm wrong, put my kids' lives in danger. What would you do? Just bring the present and you're in. Expensive then, are you? She is. But I'm not. There you go. Cheap dinner. Cheap girl. What more could you want? <laughs> What's this? This meant to be toasted, please. Happy? Well, uh, you're obviously not. Yeah, well, I love spending my weekends giving in here, don't I? Well, everyone else is having a laugh. I tell you, I can't wait until I'm as far away from this place as possible. Why? Uh, Toast is playing up. Well, let's have a look. You're an electrician? Well, my dad was. My dad's a mechanic. Don't mean I can fix cars. You should come to Sir's party this weekend. I'm not invited. Well, I'm inviting you. Uh, it's not your party. Yeah, well, it says on the invite and guest, so be my guest. I'll, uh, check my diary. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy, are you going to put me out the misery over that car or what? I was going to tell you, but I got distracted, didn't I? Sorry about that. That type of car, once it gets a bang, it can trigger a fuel cut off. Hey, look, forget it. Don't tell me. Yeah. Fix it for the first thing in the morning. You open up. I fancy a lion. You serious? Look, you're wrong thinking you can't trust me, you know. And I'd be happier knowing what I'm putting on the line. No, but... honest. 
You know what you said? Well, you were right. You already know the bit that I've been trying to keep a lid on about the name and everything. It's the rest. Look, you don't have to tell me, mate. Yeah, but I need you to know why it can't go any further. Angela helped take someone off the streets. Somebody who should have been in prison a long time ago. You got Angela did? Yeah. She used to be a barmaid. This one night, she's late home from work. I thought she'd just stayed home for a staff drink or she was chatting to some at regulars. Dead popular she were, where we used to live. You wouldn't think that round here, would you? Anyway, turns out she saw a man get killed right in front of her. Stabbed. Everybody said they saw an help, but Angela, she couldn't look the other way. She the only one? Oh, uh, everybody else bottled it. This bloke had some reputation. Anyway, the day of the identity parade, we get this picture posted through a letterbox. It's of Angela getting off a bus near where she used to work. On the back it said, choose him, I'll be choosing you. So still picks him out. Went to court a lot. He got six years. We've got a life sentence. Here's his lot. Giving you a rough ride. Anyway, that's that's why I kicked off at you. I'm sorry. Secret safe with me. <laughs> <laughs> See this? He stops here. Thanks. See you later. What if you just give in? His job back. You're joking. My decision and the discussion. So, you got me point? Do you think if I knock next door, the lender's that rabbit so I can get the grass down a bit? Don't be daft. Rabbits can't operate lawnmowers. <laughs> Idiot. So, uh, you planning on washing me overalls? Yeah, I was going to put them in in the morning. Tomorrow? Well, I can't be going to work with damn gear on. <laughs> what work? Kevin Webster's took me back on. Why? Why? Because I'm a brilliant mechanic. And? And? You told him. It's not like you think. It's more dangerous to keep him guessing. I think we can trust him. He's, he seems sound. Are you mad? No. Relieved, I think. It's easier taking people's attitude when a couple of people know why we're being how we are. Yeah, well, let's not make a bit of it, eh? Just because no bad's happened yet. Right, well, better get these in the wash. So, are you going to keep the muck off your clothes, then? <laughs> Is that Giggsy? It's, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? The only thing they've got to write is their own name. You think they could make it legible? Who cares about penmanship? It's what they do with a feet that counts. This must be worth a fortune. You want to keep it locked up in a glass case? Never mind a glass case. Our Craig won't even have it in the house. It's a Leeds phone for you. What can you do, eh? So, who do you? Wednesday. Sheffield. Well, how many others do you know? He must be a big disappointment to you. I know. I don't know where we went wrong. <laughs> So where is he, Craig? Don't he come on for this dinner? No, he's having school dinners this week. Ah. Shouldn't you uh, be getting back to school? Yeah. Thanks for letting me hold it. Just think. Bex. Kino. Rio. Rude, rude, rude. They've all touched us with their bare hands. Thanks again. See, See you, you later. Ta ra, love. Oh, Craig wants to burn that in the garden, scatter the ashes at Elland Road. <laughs> well, I've not seen out yet, but I'm keeping my eye on him. What are you talking about? Tommy. I know you give him the benefit of the doubt with the wallet and that, but can't be too careful, can you? Is it all right? Oh, well, maybe, maybe not. In the meantime... No, look, we've cleared things up. It was my mistake. Is it decent? Is it decent? Look, so you just keep both eyes on the job. I'm going to do your favour. So, uh, is this right? Your husband's got his job back at the garage, then. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Kevin realised he made a mistake. My husband is not a thief. Uh, right, yeah, whatever you say. Right, girls. Down tools because the drinks are on Joe. Oh, so is it? Let's go. You come in. Um, well, yeah, go on. Come on, then. But you won it. Yeah, but I'm a Wednesday fan and I Craig's a Leeds fan. That's all I can do to stop him slicing up with a carving knife. Oh, that's a shame. Thing is, 
David Platt's a mad keen Man United fan. He thinks this is more important than the crown jewels. I don't want to cause a fuss, but is there any chance there could have been a mistake with the tickets? I suppose it's the kind of mix-up that could happen in a busy pub during a high-profile prize draw. Leave it with me, I'll see it goes to a good home. Cheers, Hitch. You're sorted. Yeah. yeah. Right, come on, then. Let's go home and get some tea. Some tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, sir. What are you looking at her for? Looking at who? Who do you think? I'm not looking at anyone. Dance with me. You what? I said dance with me. Uh, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Is that mine? Uh, hey, do you want something? Uh, yeah, I'll have a beer. Right, I'll uh, be back in a moment. Go and sniff around someone else, will ya? What are you on? I mean, it's bug off. <laughs> it's a free country. I'm not joking. Clash one more man on the boyfriend and I'll slap ya. Really? Well, uh, your boyfriend just asked him to go upstairs with him. What's going on? She put my hair. Yeah, will you push me? Oh, you push me. Yeah, first. yeah, yeah. All right. Is anyone hurt? I don't know. I thought you girls were meant to fight with handbags. <laughs> Toggy Vera weapons is bad enough. We're close. Hey, hey, oh, hey, what's going on? I'm off. Thanks for the party. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. No broken bones. I'll live. See ya. Hey. You didn't have to well it yet. Yeah, well, why'd you bring it out then? Not like you're jealous or anything. I didn't want a man new ball in the house. They made a mistake with the raffle, you didn't have any choice. Oh, yeah, go on then, tell us what you think. My dad made it up. If anybody's making it up, it's you. Not new about that. It's the truth. You only gave it you because you felt sorry for you. <laughs> why? Well, you're a sad Man United fan for a kickoff. Get lost. You get lost. Hey! Hey! Back in the pair of you. Don't go steaming in there, you'll just make things worse. Oh, thanks. Come on. Right. I'm sure this is constructive dismissal. Is she in a union? What's it got to do with you? No, uh, hang on a minute, Janice. I think she's got a point. All we need is uh, someone who knows what they're talking about to go in there. Oh, no. No. Come on. You want to be one of us? This is your chance to prove it. Hey, yeah, love. Yeah, cheers, Vera. <sighs> All right. Hiya. Oh, yeah. uh, this ball that went to our David, there's something I don't know about. How do you mean? Well, David reckons it's Craig saying it's really his. Nah, nah, it's your lads who want it fair and square. Right. Well, why is he saying it? Any ideas? It's just being daft. You know what kids are like. Yeah. Are you going in? I can't. What? I'm new. I'm sorry, I can't risk it. Here you go. What's this for? Just to say thanks. I must have come across as a right ungrateful soul, so. Well, Harry's told you then. Well, no. I to work it out for myself. I just wanted someone to have it who'd appreciate it. I knew David's helped our Craig out at school, so I thought, why not? Yeah, right. And if you had to hand it back, it would have just been embarrassing, I know. Well, yeah. If you're going to cause embarrassment, do it in style, eh? <laughs> hey, listen, mate. If you're going to give us anything, just come and knock on my door, will you? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what did you go and say that to David for? The thing is, it don't matter. Well, Martin, all right about it. You were more than all right about it. He was dead friendly. Look, can you wait till you cross the road? Come on. How was the factory? Oh, the show Carter's only come back, demoted daily, made Karen supervisor, and everyone's yelling blue murder. Well, it could be worse, though. Well, why do you say that? Well, if it's all you lot against that Karen MacDonald, you're going to be one of the gang from now on, aren't you? Do you honestly believe that he could have got away with all that without her knowing? Yes, I do. Well, he's soft, isn't it, then? You're wrong, Janice. I think so, and all, all Gail's guilty of is having a red turn by some fella. Exactly! And we're all guilty of that. Even you, Janice. And don't say you haven't, because we've met Les. I don't want much. Just a bit of background info. Look, I'm not saying anything to you or anyone, all right? I bet she was a very bad neighbour, very unpopular. Hey, just clear off, eh? Hiya. Craig, upstairs. Craig, come down here a minute. What's up? No, I just want to have a word, that's all. Right, we've all seen the commotion next door. They're waiting for Richie to come back. Who says they are? He sent him one of his fingers through the post and a message in blood. Craig, what have I told you? I've been listening to journalists out my bedroom window. Stop it! Can I finish? 
While the journalists are around, we've all got to be extra careful. Keep our heads down, be anonymous. Easy for Greg. Shut up. Eyes peel, right? Stay out of the way, no messing around, showing off. And I'm looking at you, Craig, all right? Dad, you know the witness protection people? Yeah. Did they check the street out before they sent us here? <laughs> I mean it. Well, if they'd known what was going to happen, maybe they'd have thought twice. I'm going to have a wash. Remember what I said. You are very quiet. Am I? Yeah. For you. Anything the matter? You are joking, aren't you? I meant anything other than the usual. You don't think it's us, do you? Oh, don't be daft. Yeah, but everywhere we go, something terrible happens. Where are you off? I'm putting your tea on in a minute. Going for a lie down. Now? Yeah. You won't sleep tonight. I'll risk anyway. <laughs> Mum! Dad, there's someone in the back gardens! Oi, what have we told you? But there is! I saw him! Craig, be quiet and stop telling stories. He climbed over from next Craig, door! stop it! <sighs> See you later. Dad, there is someone honest. I think she's a bit fed up. You heard you, Mum. Stop telling tales. I'm not! I saw him! He's going towards the murderer's house! Justification for it. What... Take it easy, pal. Press. That's your second mistake. Hey? Well, your first one was thinking you could come in here like this. And your second one is thinking I'm your pal. Pal. Smack him, Dad. I'm only doing my job, pal. Just calm down, eh? I'm a nimby, me, pal. <laughs> you know what a nimby is, don't you? Not in my backyard. What's going on? Can you surgically remove cameras? Oh, yeah. Is that with or without anaesthetic? Well, this one's going in with eye if you don't get over that fence like red rum. Have you ever heard of freedom of the press? Right, that's it. And thanks. No problem. Come on, Craig, inside. It's, uh... it's Martin. Hey, yeah, all right. Just came round to thank you for seeing that photographer off earlier. Ah, no problem. I just couldn't believe his cheek. I know, eh? You know, the last person over that fence was Richard Ullman. Oh, don't. You'll put me off my tea. I know. I bet with all that's been going on lately, it's put you off living here altogether, hasn't it? Well, these things happen. You just hope it's not going to happen on your own doorstep, don't you? Yeah. Believe it or not, we used to be nearly as normal as you before that madman showed up. You know, me and Gail divorced, the kids flitting between the pair of us. Your average dysfunctional family, really. How's Gail coping? Oh, how do you cope with something like this? People get by. About time and all. I shouted you for your tea ten minutes back. Sorry. I just felt that tired. I can't hardly get off my bed. <laughs> no change there, then. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sarah used to be the same. And now Beth. Won't let her lie in. Anyway, I'll get off. Leave you to your meal. And thanks again. All right. See ya. See ya. <laughs> he thinks we're a normal family. When he started going on about how do people cope, I was so tempted. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Elbows. Have you been brought up or dragged up? Leave us alone. Yep, normal family. <laughs> Where's your lunch? Come on, Katie. Time you're off to school. Is she a breakfast yet? No, she'll get a bit toast on her way to school. You're not even dressed yet. Come on, Katie, get your act together. <sighs> Mum, I keep going dizzy. There is no way I can go to school. Now, you see, we're all under stress. There's mornings when I don't want to go to work, but I do. So you, we're going to school. I can't. Oh, I'm getting back into bed. No, you are going to get washed and dressed, lady. Leave her, Anne. She don't look well. Uh, you're a pushover for her whims, aren't you? Daddy's a little girl. She's got you wrapped round her finger. As she's staying off, can I stop at home as well? No, you can't. Oh, it's different for him, isn't it? He's not ill. He's trying it on. Come on, Craig, on your way. Oh. Can't be doing with this crack of dawn stuff. Well, I reckon we're wasting the time. There's no crumpet in this story, so where are the hell's the pictures, Stanley? Well, looking on the bright side, Geoffrey, at least there's a pub handy. Your newspaper men, right? Here's all sorts I could tell you if I wanted. About what? The House of Honor. We're next door, don't I? 
How much will you give me to tell you all I know? Well, you hang on there, son. There's a reporter from the Beano due any time. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't say you weren't offered! Hiya! Oh, bang on time, Ange. Hey, guess was cooked tea. Ah, Katie. Ooh, there's a novelty. You must be feeling a bit better then. A bit. Just like a day in bed to put you right. Like trying myself one of these wet mornings. <laughs> so how was your day? Oh, the usual. Give me a down grafting away. Ask me how my day was. Why? You're gonna tell us anyway. <laughs> School drama group Stone Bugs and Malone. It's a musical about gangsters. Yeah, I've seen that film. Well, guess who's gonna play Bugsy? You! <laughs> Give over. How would you know? You weren't at school today, were you? Yeah, but you have to sing and dance and everything. You can't even do that. I can. They reckon I'm a right natural. Mm. Good on you, Craig. Yeah, that's great, Craig. Stop knocking them all the time, will you? Where's yours? Are you not eating? I'll have it later. Oh, you're your dad's girl, all right. He can shift his drink and all. Oh, thanks, Ange. I'll tell you what, when we've had this, we'll nip across the road. You can pay. <laughs> you must think I've got a gang of mates in that toilet. I've yet to see you with one mate, let alone a gang. It's because my real friends are in Sheffield. I was always a loner. Yeah, well, I'm not. Yes, but adolescence is a time of isolation, of awkwardness, of a lack of confidence. There's nothing wrong with me. Well, personally, perhaps, but I, I speak for a generation. Yeah, yours, not mine. He always says wrong thing to the girl. Amanda, she is a bit of a sourpuss. Hero? Well, it were you that told me yourself. Yeah, are you all right, love? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, well, go sit down. It'll soon pass. Dizzy spells at her age, eh? I'll walk you home. I'm all right. Look, I can pick you up if you faint in the streets. Yeah. Aye, aye. Hey, I'll finish for the day. How do you fancy going out somewhere? Yeah, what do you fancy? Uh, shops, garden centre, stately home. <gasps> about a war museum? We've not been there yet. Oh, I'm staying in. I'm learning my lines. If I see you going out, you're going out. I don't want to. Yeah, you do. Anyway, we can't leave you on your own. You can. If you stay in, we all stay in. What are you doing? Yes, we do. You know the score. Here, your lass is sick. Roy's sent her oh, home. All right. What's the matter? Well, she felt faint. Man, just she only drinks water. Is she on one of them diets? Oh, you're not, are you, love? No. I'm going for a lie down. We can't go now. Thanks for walking around here. Oh, you're welcome, love. I was going to Rita's anyway. Right, you've got a pound to spend, but no more. You'd spend a lot more if we'd have gone out. Yeah, well, we didn't go out, so next time, just think about it. Don't blame me because Katie was sick. It's not got no... Do we are, Katie? Look, do you want some sweets or not? I can't buy much with a pound. See how much you can buy with nothing. Oh, Dad! Oh, stop whining. Hey, hey, the, the, now, this has sold very well today. Has it? Well, you see, there's an article in it, a wonderful article about Jack and Vera Duckworth. Is the... You know, I, I, I was the first person to see through Richard Elman. Were you? Oh, yes, yes. Well, not a lot gets past me. That's because you're nosy. Hey, watch your mouth. He's nosy. Everyone says so. Oh, Vera. Hey, look, we've nearly sold out. We've only a couple of copies left. Yeah, well, that's thanks to me, you know. Page five news. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. In the absence of a royal wedding or a celebrity kiss and tell, the Duckworths are a major story. Yeah, yeah and I want some more. Sounds like all of a twist. Hey, you're going to get a right wallop. Just pick what spice you want. You said I couldn't have any. OK, we'll go home then. I'll have a look at what they got. Every flavour, every variety. You won't get a better selection anywhere. Hey, it's right. Good picture, you know. Page five, me now, Jack. Is that what you want? Yeah. A packet of them in this, please, Norris. Hey, right, your service. It's not everybody, you know, who gets page five in a national newspaper. This is not a newspaper, it's a scandal sheet. Oh, well, you are reading it. <laughs> no, I need a sport, that's all. Right then, see you later. Here, but your lad's in it, look. What? Ouch. Don't look in at the camera. They'll see you in Liverpool, they'll see you in Leeds. Oh, they'll see you in Sheffield. I didn't know. You must have known, are you stupid? What's the matter? Oh, your son's got his face in the newspaper. That's what's the matter. National press. Now everybody will know where we live. I don't want it if he's touched it. I'm not eating it. I'll have it then. Here then. Tommy! Well, way he's been behaving. Look, I cannot do with you being childish. It's him that's being childish. He is a child. Look, will you leave some of that for other people, please? Wouldn't think you were too ill to work at the weekend. Oh, I'll take some up for him. 
Tommy, he did not mean to get on that photograph. There's no point punishing him. It's not my punishment he should be worried about. If that gets seen in Sheffield... Oh, you don't really think they're going to recognise him, do you? I mean, I had to look twice. Are you saying I'm not being fair at all? I'm saying no. Smile! <laughs> nice! I'm just using up the film. I've uh, still got to get the picture developed from Sarah's party. <laughs> Lots of pictures of you fighting Afghandese. Get a shift on you, you'll be late. Yeah, mate. Get along! As if I'd wasted my last picture. I thought I'd take a picture of me and you coming out of flicks on Saturday. What's he after? Asking me out, I think. What did she say? She said no. She didn't. I have now. It is fit. Good looking. If he had red hair, he'd be like your dad at his age. Like I'd really want to go out with my dad. Oi, you, come on. <laughs> Oi, watch it. Shift then. Cheers, man. Thanks for picking on our Craig this morning. I oh, weren't picking on him. He feels bad enough about that photo as it is without you making him feel worse. He nearly had kittens this morning. Jason Grimshaw were waving a camera near him. What for? <laughs> he fancies our Katie. He's a right nice looking lad and all. So I used to go for. I'm the sort you used to go for. You were the other sort that had a car. <laughs> I love that triumph. I wonder if we could partake our Craig for one. You know, it's not put us in any more danger. If they were coming, they'd have been here by now. It feels terrible. We should be cheering him up, not making him feel worse. We should be going on one of them famous outings that he used to take us on. <laughs> That'd teach him a lesson, wouldn't it? I'll think about it. People your age still go bowling. Not with them, Mum and Dad. Your Dad's just trying to give us a treat. <sighs> be well embarrassing. Great. Can I have a biscuit? Oh, and his face falls as his dad, who he's still sulking with, moves his bare hand towards the biscuits and, oh, he just misses. What a close shave that was. <laughs> Are you too cool to be seen out with your mum and dad and all? I'm not going with my dad. Oh, for goodness sake! Look, pal, I'm sorry I flew off the handle at you. I know you didn't mean to get in that paper. Then why'd you go spare at me? Because it's something we could do without, that's all. It's just a stupid thing to have happen. It wasn't stupid. It was an accident! Oh dear, I've touched it with my bare hands. Ah, Craig's not going to want any, is he? Eh, Katie? Yeah, please. Ange? Um, no, go, go on, on just, just a taste. taste. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, this one, this one, or this one? You're so funny. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you laugh, you come bowling. <laughs> He laughs, he bowls. <laughs> Don't we now have to go? Where are you going? Oh, for a lie down. What about your homework? She looks tired. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, don't get on at her. We don't want her sulking when he's just stopped. I wasn't. Do not start that again, either of you. <laughs> if she thinks she's skiving off school, she's got another thing coming. She'll be done, don't worry. She's just showing her teeth, that's all. Oh, well, I don't want to see him, thank you very much. I've got enough of her packing you up, getting myself off to work without pandering to her moods. It's probably her hormones. You know what girls her age are like. Yeah, I do. I was one. Remember? All I'm saying is we should just maybe give a bit of room, that's all. Oh, you are so gullible, you. I hope I'm understanding. You know what this is about, don't you? Huh? She doesn't want to go bowling tonight. Well, she might change her mind when she sees us ready to go. Are you are joking. OK, I'll try and persuade her. No, you do no such thing. Either she goes willingly or not at all. Do you know our Kate is still in the pit? Yes, thank you, Craig, we know. She's not feeling too well. Does that mean she's not going to school? Possibly. <sighs> Bet she's fit enough when it comes to bowling tonight. Ah, oh, well, that's where you're wrong, innit? Because she don't want to go. So are we going to get two teams together if she cops out? Maybe you should ask David Platt if he wants to go. David Platt? Yeah, it might be a nice thing to do. After all, he's been through lately. Yeah, that's a good idea. He's a mate of yours, isn't he? Yeah, I suppose. OK, I'll ask him. See you. Hello. See you later, mate. Hey, that was a nice thought. Might make up for her upstairs. Oh, don't worry about her. You get off to work. I'll take care of that, Katie. It's all right, love. See ya. Come in, Ta. Look, I'm, uh, I'm really sorry to hear about your troubles. Thank you. I just hope things aren't too bad for you. Well, funnily enough, I'm just about to find out. Um, I'm on my way to see the solicitor now. Oh. Look, I do know what you're going through, um, so I know you don't want to hear a load of empty words, so I just pop round to see if uh, if your David wants to come bowling with us after school tonight. Bowling? Yeah, I thought it might be a nice thing for him to do. Our Craig's going to ask him at school. Well, 
that's really kind of you. Thank you. I'm sure he'd love to go. Great. Right. Well, we'll pick him up when we're ready. All right. Yeah, just let me give you some money, just in case I'm not back in time. N no, I no, I wouldn't hear of it. It's our treat, so... That's very generous. Thank you. Right. Uh, it's no problem. I'll get off then. <laughs> yeah, I'll come with you. All right. So, what's your ice score then? You know, I'm pretty good, actually. Oh. It's been ages since Alice went bowling. It'd be great, though. All right, fantastic. So, are we coming in to wait for you or what? Well, I'll just get changed and then I'll come round your place after. All right. We'll watch a bit of telly till my mum gets in from work then. All right, sorted. See you. See ya. Hiya! I'm just seen your dad. He'll be stuck at work for another hour. Oh, no. Oh, it's OK. We'll go and get a burger while we're waiting. He can chase us up when he's finished. I hope he's not too long. Have you asked David to come? Yep, he said he'll be over when he's changed. Right, you go and chase him up when I get ready. Okay. So, are you coming or what? No, I'm too tired. Girls your age should be tired. I told you, I don't feel great. I shouldn't have listened to that and gone to school. It's worn me out. David! David, are you in there? Try again. Oh, I told you, he's not there. I knocked and ran for ages. He did say he was coming though, didn't he? Yeah. I don't understand it. Martin might have popped in. We just take him out quite a lot. What do you want to go and try one last time? Not really. If he wanted to come in, he'd been here. Okay then, it's just me and you. I hope your dad's not working till midnight. Come on, get some welly. That's it, mate. I think we'll leave the firm start till tomorrow now. Oh, nice one, Kev. Hi, right, boys. All right, mate. Hi, Martin. Finished for the day? Eh, uh, just about. Is it a pint? Oh, yeah, sure. Fuck out, I've got to go bowling. We'll lock up. Right. Anything wrong, Audrey? Yeah. Well, she's meant to be cooking the tea, but there's nobody answering. Well, she might have gone to a chipper. No, because it's bolted from the inside, so there must be somebody in there. I saw Sarah going in about half an hour ago. Oh. What's up? I can hear music. There's someone in the garage. Gail? There is. He's definitely an engine running. Oh, it's him, Martin. He's back. Get a crowbar, back, quick. Move it, Audrey. Where's your car? Oh, Sally's gone shopping in it. Oh, I've got the keys for that. Come on. Oh. All right, I managed to fix this alternator. What do you mean? It's been cutting out on us all day, hasn't it? Oh, come on. Come on, they're getting away. Turn 
tight to them, it's boiling in here. Thermostat's knackered. You've got to stay on, otherwise the end's not open. Oh, brilliant. Well, open a window. You what? Yeah, it's in front of us now. We can see it now. So where the hell are you? Look, I'll tell you again, I've got my family in the back of that car. Surely there should be a helicopter here or something. All right, we'll catch him. We're in the back of a car that couldn't even pass its MOT. It'll be OK. Yeah, and we're chasing a suicidal driver who wants to kill all his passengers. But all he has to do is drive into a wall. No, please, no, Katie, what's happened? No, it's all right, look, calm down. No, you don't Can't understand, it's me on No, it's not. But it's going to be as bad. what's happened no, to him? No, that's OK, it's the neighbours. What do you mean, the neighbours? That Hillman fella snatched him. Look, you two wait here, I'll have a word with the officers, yeah? It won't take a minute, wait there. Where is he then, Katie, where is he? Of his in pursuit. What? No, no, when the murderer fled the scene of the crime, your husband jumped into a car and gave chase. It's all over the road! The kids are fine with me. It looks like he broke free. He's gonna crash! Make sure you stop no! This is it! Tell us anything. Reckon they don't know what's happening. But Dad will be all right, won't he? Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. So aren't he wrong? Let's watch a bit of telly, shall we? He'll be back before we know it. What is it? Come on, Tommy! There, there he is! Oh, thank God. Come on, Tommy! Come on, you! Come on! Out. Come on! That's Come on! Sunshine. To the Come side, on. mate! Come on! I couldn't see you! Oh, never mind him, let's get you out! <laughs> Got to the car! Let's do as you want, I couldn't see you! Oh, never mind him, you ain't going down there again, mate! Sorry, mate. You're not coming back to the hospital. Just for a checkup. No, I'm gonna get home, have some tea. Well, I don't know what to say. Don't say all. He saved me family, mate. I'll never forget that. Never. Well, all three of us did it, not just me. Yeah, mainly you, though. And you, Kev. Thanks. I didn't even get wet. Anyway, I'll see you. 
Take care. See you, Martin. Left one in, though, didn't we? Best place for him. Come on. All right, love. How are you feeling? Oh, starving. But there's no, like, uh, after effects. No, I never felt better. In fact, maybe I'll take a dip more often. But you will not. And you just went and dived straight in? Well, anybody would when this kid's in danger. Never mind anybody would. Your father's a hero. I hope you two both know that. Hey, come on. <laughs> How deep would it? About 10, 15 feet. Oh, I can't even dive down five feet in bass. You would if you had to. Love, where have you put your mock clothes? Wash basket. What, you just chucked them in with everything else? Yeah. Oh, Tommy, they'll be sinking the place. I won't stay to you after that canal. Why can't you just think? <sighs> Didn't last long as a hero, did I? Give us a tip, mate. Hey, this is the man we've got to thank. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. How are you, Tinkerbell? How are you doing? Hey. Sarah was just telling us how brilliant you were, you know, diving in the canal and that. Oh, anybody would have done the same. Yeah, except her. I goes fizzy when it's wet. I'd have dived in for you. I wouldn't have thought twice. Say what you like. You're an hero in our book. Ooh, write an article about it, Vera. You might make, ooh, a fiver. At least. Hey, come on. Fair comment. No, it's not. Look what Richard Ullman put you through. Well, it was terrible. Here he is. The main man. Ooh. Maria, forever Tommy's drinking, please. Audrey, you're going to have to stop thanking me sometime, you know. Stop? I'm not hardly started. You know, if I get my way, you're going to be splashed across all the papers with a medal of honour. You can try, but he won't see me for dust. He means it, and all hates a fuss. Oh. Well, whatever Angela's drinking as well, Maria. Uh. Same again, please. Oh, way up. He's here. I'm going to ask him. No, don't. Ask him what? Is it right you're taking us lot out on St Patrick's night? Can you not keep a secret for five minutes in that place? Ah, so it is true. Look, just because we work together, don't mean we can't play together every now and again, does it? You'll have to watch her, Joe. Two halves in a black stuff and she'll be practicing a river dance. <laughs> you see, I told you, didn't I? Nice of a minute. Didn't have to do that. Nah, he's not a bad one. Are you going to ask her what? Well, I can't now. Beard has blown it for us. Well, I'm going to try. Hiya, love. You're right. <laughs> yeah, listen. I'm off out tonight, OK? Yeah. Well, I just thought I'd come and tell you the arrangements for tea. Meat in the oven needs to come out about seven. Spuds are peeled and they need to be popped in about 20 minutes beforehand. Hold on. What? Why are you telling me all this? Well, it's because I'm a girl. Get me dad or Craig to do it. Come on. Anyway, you're not doing anything else, are you? I might. Any luck with her? No. Well, you haven't got the edge, have you? <laughs> hey, Tyrone, what are you doing tonight? Me? No. I'll stick them at it, Rovers. You're underage. I'll stick to lemonade. So come on, Mutton yes or no? Yeah. So, Edge, you were saying? There you are. Cheers, Fred. Hey, you know she's underage, don't you? This is non-alcoholic. Yeah, what about you? Oh, no, they're both for her. Hey. First like a camel, that one, I tell you. Uh -huh. So, have you always been into catering? No. Oh. Uh, it's like a passport, innit? What? Catering. I've always admired caterers. I mean, it's good to have a career and you can't go wrong like a trade like that. You can take it all over the world. <laughs> Everyone needs caterers. What made you want to come out with me tonight? What do you mean? It came as a bit of a surprise. A good surprise, but even still, a surprise. I suppose I always thought you thought I was a bit of a divvy. Yeah, well, I'd rather be out here with you than stuck at home cooking a meal for two ungrateful people. Anyway, you're buying. Look, Tyrone, you're a nice lad, and maybe I've been a bit harsh on you before now. It'd be nice if we could be mates and see how things go, eh? Mm -hmm. But why don't you go play darts with your mates? You sure? Yeah, of course I am. Fine. Oh, and thanks for the drinks. Right, boys. Oh, now what do you reckon to that? Oh, oh, Are you all right? What's she been drinking? Lemonade. Oh, yes, lemonade and what? What do you expect to drink with? Nothing, well, I haven't. No, me. Oh, me. Well, get her home and get some black coffee down there. And we'll be tired, yeah. Say, we'll be tired, you want to dance, Caesar. Oh, yeah, you try telling her dad that. Dad. How many she had? She just went funny in the Rovers. Well, let me get her in, then. Mm. 
So come on then, how many she had? Um, a lemonade and... Uh, an orange juice. Don't mess me around, how many? Straight up. Honest, Tommy. She okay, Dad? Okay, uh, grab that cushion, let's get under it. I don't understand it, she was all right ten minutes ago. It's all right, darling, you know I'm safe and sound now. That's what I said. Kitty, are you okay? Does she look okay? Oh, Dad. Hey, it's all right, love. Someone's given you one too many, that's all. Wasn't me, Kate, eh? I don't believe this. It was none of us, you clown. Hey, you're gonna be all right. I don't think your mum's gonna be too impressed, though. You three better get out of my sight. No! Don't look at me like that! It's all right, darling. It's mine. What are you doing here? How oh, is she? Oh, she's just had one too many, that's all. Mm. What's wrong with her? I've told you she's just drunk. Hey, be a total star and put the kettle on, will you? That's it, innit? She's just tanked up. I don't know. The lad said that she was on orange and lemonade. Yeah, well, first thing is Dave had it. Need a drink. That's all right, darling. C Craig, just fetch your glass of water, will you? Katie, I need you to exhale, OK? What is it? Um, just keep reassuring her. Keep her calm. What are you doing? Don't panic, but I don't think that's down to too much booze. Well, I've had some kebabs in my... What's going on? Katie? Yeah, ambulance, please. Ambulance? What do you mean, ambulance? Come on, then, come on. Look, I'll follow on with Craig. Are you sure? Yeah. Cheers, man. Watch your head. Nice, Just be careful with her, please, please, watch her head. Oh, I'm telling you, she only had one lemonade and an orange juice. See a bit, yeah? What's up with her? I'm not sure, but let's hand over to the experts. Hey, champ. I said, don't be freaked out. Every single one of these machines is fighting Katie's corn. All right. Hey, good lad. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Cheers, mate. He was a bit too old for the hospital player in. Come on, sit down. We don't know what's happening. They said they were doing some tests, but they haven't told us anything. Right. Well, it's not really my patch. She's doing nice and steady, though. I just want to know what's going on. Has no one said anything at all? I'm doing all I can. She only went out for a drink. Right, well, I'll see if I can pull a few strings. Find something out. I know we're on your case all last week. I never gave you any sympathy when you were feeling bad. Yeah, and you don't. I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry I doubted you. I'm so sorry. Have you seen anyone? Have they made a diagnosis? Oh, uh, yeah. Someone should be along soon to uh, fill you in. Well, what did they say? Well, maybe you should wait. I'm not a doctor. Never mind flaming protocol. What have they said? Just tell us whatever it is. Just tell us. Well, she wasn't knocking back vodka. Or having a drink spiked. Well, that don't matter now, anyway. OK. All right. She was trying to quench a terrible thirst. Katie's got diabetes. Tyro, we didn't spike a drink. And how come she was as drunk as she was? She was sick as a dog. You don't get like her drinking orange juice. I want a word with you. Listen, mate, we didn't do a thing, honestly. Yes, you did. You brought her back safely. And because of that, she's going to be all right. Why? Is she still in hospital? Yeah. She was unconscious because she's got diabetes. Uh, is she going to be OK? Yeah, she's going to be fine. So anyway, thanks for bringing her back as quick as you did, and uh, I'm sorry I had to go at you. <laughs> That's no problem, mate, honestly. See you in a bit, yeah? Right, Tom. Oh, yeah. How's Katie? Yeah, she's going to be all right. Angela's with her. Right, she's going to be fine. Good. Bit scary, mind, eh? Yeah. Listen, I can't thank you enough for last night. Ah, don't worry about it. It's not over, though. It's going to take a lot of getting used to. Yeah, but we're going to be there for her. Yeah, OK. Well, anything I can do to help, just ask. Thanks. See ya. ta -da. Where's Dad? At work. My 
must be a disappointment to wake up and find me here. Oh, don't start, Mum. Sorry. We've all been really worried about you. Yeah? <laughs> so worried about me and all. <sighs> Mum, what's going on? How come we're in hospital? Look, first thing is, I'm sorry. I've been going on at you and I shouldn't have. You're a good kid, I know that, and I should give you some more space. I'm ill. Is that why you've been nice to me? You passed out. Yeah. Then woke up in here. We thought them lads had spiked your drink, but they hadn't. Apparently, your blood sugar levels are unbalanced and that's why you lost consciousness. The doctors tried to explain, but you were still very dazed. You're diabetic. Diabetic? I'm diabetic? Yeah. How can that be? Like suddenly one day I pass out, wake up and I'm, I'm diabetic. Well, the doctor said that's why you were drinking so much all the time and you were tired because you weren't making enough insulin. Do you know what diabetic is? It means I'm going to have to have injections. Yeah, but the doctor said that like Every day. For the rest of my life. Oh, come here, love. I don't want it. That was useless. She was so frightened and I couldn't tell her anything. I don't know anything. She's every right to be scared. I know she has. I'd be scared if I were a diabetic and had to inject myself <laughs> every day. Question is, how can we help her when we know so little about it? Makes me wish I'd become a doctor rather than a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, like you had a choice. Made you smile, though, eh? Yeah, well, maybe you should have been a comedian. <laughs> but by the time we've read these leaflets, we'll both be experts. Haven't you got important work to do? I'm on my tea break. Fire like run off your feet in the NHS. Sure, not complaining about the standard of care you're receiving, surely. No. I don't need babes in. Not to leave. Don't mind. Has the doctor been round yet? Yeah, she explained everything. Good. You happy with it all? Would you be? Well, no. I'd hate it, but. Well, I can think of a lot worse things. Right, so I should count my blessings. Well, there's nothing more you can do about it, so you might as well get on with it. I don't think much to your bedside manner. Yeah, well, it's cutbacks. I haven't got time for all this molly coddling. You do realise you're taking up a bed that could be used by a really, really sick person. Oh, well, maybe I should go home then. Uh, no, you don't. While you're here, we're in charge, OK? If he tell you, then you can go home. Hm. No, seriously. You won't ask anything about anything. Just ask me, OK? Yeah, all right. Right, better get off. I have others to heal. <laughs> right then, what can I get you? Uh, nothing, I'm fine, thanks. Shall I open a tin of soup up? I'm not hungry. But you've got to eat regular, don't you? Keep your, keep your watch it levels up. I know when to eat, what to eat and what not to eat. Drink then, nice hot drink. Why don't you just go back to work? I'll probably go out in a minute anyway. Out with you? Just over to calf. No, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should just stay at home and put your feet up. Oh, Dad, I've got diabetes. I'm meant to lead a completely normal life. I can't deal with you fussing over me every minute of the day. OK, fair enough. You know what's best. I'll leave you to it. Honest, when you passed out, I thought you were a goner. I nearly give you the kiss of life. Oh, well, that definitely would have finished me off. An incident like that can be as traumatic for the onlooker as it is for the sufferer. All oh, right, what do you know about it, Roy? Uh, a lot more than either of you two. It's a trained first aid, right, Roy? So you'll be on um, daily insulin injections now, I take it? Yep. At least two a day now for the rest of my life. What, you've got to go to hospital every day? Well, no, now I'm back at home, I just do it myself. Yeah, you inject needles into yourself. Well, it's more like a pen. It's no big deal. Still, sooner you than me. So, uh, have you done it yet? Yep, I did it at the hospital with the nurse. First time on my own tonight. Right. right, so we've put the cartridges in the pen. Get rid of any air. And then uh, dial up the dosage. Okay, here goes. Oh, I can't do it! I can't do it! Do you want me to have a go? Mm. Here, then, move up. Mm. 
No, I can't do it. Sorry, love. Well, someone's got to do it. She can't not have her injection. Well, you do it then. You work with needles. Not like that, I don't. Look, I've got a better idea. What? Excuse me. It's really good of you, this, mate. It's all right. I've only done 72 hours this week. Oh, Martin, I'm really sorry. I'm only joking. <laughs> right. That's it. What? That's it? Yep. I feel so embarrassed. I was all right doing it with the nurse at the hospital. Yeah, what's the big thing? Having to jab yourself. I can't believe you've got to go through this every day for the rest of my life. You'll get used to it. You just have to keep on practising. Right, well, if you have any more problems, just give us a ring, all right? See you later, tough guy. <laughs> Sorry to drag you round again, mate. She should have had a morning injection, but we've not been having any joy, have we? <laughs> he means I still can't do it. I've had a go, but it's in the right spot, you know. Uh -huh. He didn't even get near. Right, well, where's your box of tricks? Oh, right, OK. Have you got an orange or a lemon? Not sure. It's like to bite into when the pain hits you. That's not funny. I won't be funny. You're not helping either. Upstairs, go on. Oh. There you go. Cheers, mate. Look, you can read as many leaflets as you like, but uh, this is the best place to start. I know you've done this at the hospital before, but you can't do any harm to do it again, can it? Mm. Right, there you go. Do your worst. It's not loaded. Hey, let's play with fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a wimp. I don't know. Let's ask your dad. See who he thinks the wimp is, eh? Tell you, I'm going to do my job. I've seen 15 stone blokes. First sight of a needle, they're over like a sack of chisels. But I'm a girl, so it's okay for me to be a wimp. Uh, did I say that? Did I? Yeah, you're just trying to be nice about it. Gee, I've been called some things in my time. Never nice. Ah, uh, so is that why you live on your own? Uh, tell me, what's the female equivalent of uh, Billy No Mates? Yeah, well, there's no one round here I wouldn't be mates with. Mind you, I was born here. I get scared of the living daylights out of me if I had to uproot myself. Why, because it's such a cool and happening place? Well, yeah. That and the fact I'm a lazy so-and-so. <laughs> See, what I did is I left school, got the first job that I'd have me, and then ended up marrying the boss. Mrs Ilman was your boss? Yeah, she ran the calf. I was the humble dishwasher. <laughs> and ten years younger. Ooh, how tongues wagged. <laughs> so, are we making progress, then? Eh? Yeah, I think. Yep. Don't mind. Hi, mate. Oh, it's not right. how it looks. It better not be. If you're fit enough to work, you're fit enough to go to school. I'm not working. Oh. Roy was short of change and he only came in for a coffee. Yeah, yeah, I can vouch for that. We've got coffee at home. I'm bored at home. I'll have a word with your mother. Maybe you should go back tomorrow. <laughs> Shot yourself in the foot there. Monday. <laughs> End of the week latest. Rings from your mates up. Oh, yeah. From school. Get them round for tea if you feel you're missing out. I might. Hey, do the business, Ty. Right. Uh, two cups of tea and four ham balm, please. Yeah. Hey, take your aunt later if you like. I've got to deliver Mike Baldwin's jag. It could go the long way. When? This afternoon. Ah, oh, am I that bored? Well, yes, I am. So what time? Pick you up in about an hour. Best make it round the corner. Hey, how long did you say Roy'd be? You got any perfume in your bag? Smells more like a burger van rather than a car that's just been serviced. I won't notice. It's gonna be sitting here for a week. Right. Is that everything? Mm -hmm. Oh, shame, innit? Nice car, and flat going to waste. Hey, what's it like inside? Dunno. No, he might dead swanky. What, like matching towel swanky? Or plasma TV with surround sound and a butt to make tea swanky? I don't know, do I? Well, one way to find out. Oh no! I knew this was a bad idea! Calm down. Pete, what are you doing? I'm not robbing, I'm just nosing. Two minutes, then we're locking up and we're leaving the keys. Will you keep your wig on? Hey, you know that Deb that runs the corner shop? He only lives next door, you know. <laughs> Invite him in for a cup of tea. <sighs> oh, get off! Thought you'd be at rehearsal. We're concentrating on the girls today. Got two left feet after. <laughs> Check out Fred Astaire. Yeah, you should offer to show him some steps. As if. The right bunch of mingus. Yeah, hush now. Yeah, it's the personality that counts, in the end. Well, I'll suck it if any then. <laughs> Where is she anyway? I thought she'd been here. She probably had a relapse. Yeah, it's prospect of school. <laughs> so, is he not married then? No, she did a runner. She was only young, bit of a gold digger. Not something you'll have to worry about, eh? Oh, come on.
Come on, will you crack your face? I'm a mechanic, just like your dad. So? So, you go on like you're ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of my dad. No way. Good. You don't know the meaning of the word ashamed until you've met my man. <laughs> Rough. Oh, as a bear's bum. I mean, she makes Vera look like Tara Palmer Tompkinson. Are you finished nosying around or what? No, not yet. Well, Kev's expecting me back. Okay, yeah? Oh, ten more minutes. It's all right here, isn't it? Well, if you ignore the ornaments. Yeah. Hey, I wonder if he's got any crisps. Oh, oh yeah. I love these. When did you say we're back? Mate, Tuesday. Mm. Pizza. Nah, no, we'd never get away with that. It was gonna know. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be throwing wild parties. Wouldn't we? With him from the corner shop next door. Well, what's the point in coming round then? Because we can. Think about it, right? Where would you rather be? Chilled out round here, some good sounds on, and can in your hand? Or sat in front of Scrappy Challenge with Jack and Vera? Yeah. Oh, all right. You don't know here yet. Yeah, no, I just want to make sure that, you know, you're not going to tell me about neither of my mates. Oh, yeah, like I'm going to say, when me and Kate was in Mike Baldwin's flat after driving around in his car everywhere, you know what she did? She used the phone. I know, <laughs> it's just... No, don't, eh? All right. Well, Mike's back tomorrow, so you ought to do something tonight, then. Yeah, all right. We'll come round after school. Cool. See you then. See you later. What's this? It was Tommy's back to turn, eh? No, she came looking for him. Yeah, of course she did. What's our Katie doing in the garage? She's probably just saying hello on her way to school. Come on. Uh, I've had a brainwave about what we can do tonight. Yeah, I know. I'm, I've been thinking and all. He has been such a laugh. You might want to listen to this. I don't have many brainwaves. Go on, then. We go to Sheffield and we meet up with your mates. <laughs> well, no. I'm, we can't. I mean, Sheffield's such a long way. Oh, I get it. You scared your mates will think I'm your boyfriend? No, of course not. <sighs> My mum and dad would go mental. They'll never know. I just thought you might want to see him seeing as though you spoke to him. I would, but... But nothing. It, ring them. If they can't make it, then fine. Go on! <laughs> so they're going to try and tell me there's no going on with you two? Well, there isn't. Hmm. She's just shot a mates round here. Doesn't fancy me one bit. Oh, Katie. Oh, sorry, right. I don't want out. No, 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 no. Could you do me an hour? Yeah, sure, when? Now. Just shutting up. Ah, uh, no, I can't. Sorry. This is to go, people to see. Yeah, well, so have I, but they're as off. Ah, yeah? You know the Lady Bower, Dam? Nope. Ah, well, you will. Dabshire, just on the way to Sheffield, we're meeting Louise and Paul there in the car park. Great. Promise me you won't breathe away to my dad, though. Oh, of course not. I'll just finish this, eh? All right. Hello. Hey. She's gone to another rehearsal. <laughs> Going for a pizza after, with her new mates. She's either a glutton for punishment or she's got a crush on some lad. Mm. Ah, Katie. There's some more rehearsals for this school play than our Craig, and he's in it. Yeah, it's good she's getting involved, isn't it? Good way of making mates. It's been hard enough for us, but making the kids leave their pals never seen them again. I sometimes think she's going to bring a young thug on just to wind us up. It's time enough for lads after her exams. You know, at one point, I thought she was going to start seeing Tyrone. Oh, don't think so. It's all right, Sai. She could do worse. Mm. Oh. 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 I'll talk to Tyrone, make sure they didn't leave the keys in an old daft like that. Hey, Vera. Say it on it. Oh, we'll be out with that lass of theirs. You what? Well, that's what he told me. Uh, get us a bottle of beer, Betty Lowe. Okay, love. Thought she was at a play rehearsal. Maybe Tyrone give her a lift. Has he said up to you? Well, I'm sorry, mate. Right now, I'd rather talk to him about Baldwin's car than your daughter. How long's it been going on? There's no going on at the Just Mates. Here, what's your problem? There's no wrong with our Tyrone. My problem is that everyone seems to be trying to keep it a secret from me. Well, I haven't. Because I knew you'd kick off like this in public. Why can't she find someone her own age? Tommy, will you just be glad that she's having a life, eh? You can't expect a 16-year-old girl to sit at home with her mum and dad every night. Well, at least I'd know where she was. Do you know where she is? They're hardly at Craig's rehearsals, are they? 
told me it should be all right. It's like Vera said, Tyrone's a decent enough lad. God, it's not as even if I can ring her, is it? Exactly. She's the only teenager I know who ain't got a phone. Don't get at her. There's no need. Hey, your mates are all right, aren't they? That Louise is crazy. She's driving around mad. Called a loop the loop. So why don't they let you see her anymore? I told you. It's... I just don't talk about it. You okay? Yeah. It would. I never thought I'd see him again. Hey, come on. Can't let you go on like this, can I? We'll get some chips from Chippy and we'll go back to Barwins. And you can ring Loopy Lou and let her know you got home okay. <laughs> hey, we can always go back and see him again. In hey, my car. Oh, it's too risky. Well, you tell me what happened. Because it's boring. Plates or paper? Uh, paper. Don't want to make any more washing up to do, do we? Well, I will just tidy up. Or we will never know. Oh, you've been dead sweet. Oh, you. I should have known. No. Uh, but you're not due back until tomorrow. I got back early, fortunately. What, you steal my car as well? Oh, we never stole a thing. Your car's downstairs. Everything's fine. Stealing? Breaking an entry? But we had a key. Don't get smart with me, Dobbs. You can explain to the police how you got in here, went through all my stuff, Broken ornament? Oh, that was an accident. Shut up, you! What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm really sorry, Mr. Baldwin. We didn't mean any harm, and we'll pay for anything. You're damn right you will. Go on, get out the pair of you. Here, take your rubbish with you. 